everyone. Welcome to Babies with Knives. Today we're going to be playing a one-shot of Mutants and Masterminds. Uh, we're going to be introducing a couple new players to the system, so for anyone who wants to learn along with us, this is a good opportunity. GMing for us tonight is going to be my co-host, Brandon Powers, up above me. Hey, Brandon. Howdy, howdy. How's everybody doing? I'm great. Mutants and Masterminds, third edition. I'm your host, Alice Peng, a.k.a. Lala Twiddle on the boards. Playing along with me, below me, is our friend, good friend, Alex. Hey, Alex. Hey, everyone. And we have our friend, Tim LeMaster, over on the top of the other column. Hey, Tim. <laughs> He's screaming <laughs> silently. Apparently, we're playing a horror game as well as superhero. Below him is our new friend, Brian. Hi. Hello. And below him is our friend Joanne. Hey, Joanne. Hi. Cool. So let's. why don't you take it away, Brandon? Well, first, why don't we go ahead and get into the characters that everybody's playing. Sure. Um, <clears throat> the, a lot of these characters are old characters that have been used in other games and sometimes other systems. Um, but uh, today we're going to see their Mutants and Masterminds equivalent. Um, just go ahead and... Well, you've gotten a, a pre-gen, you've gotten a little bit of information. By all means, this is a different universe, and so we can hear uh, your take on, on the character and such. So why don't we go ahead and start with Tim. Quick rundown on who Aces is. I got this guy named Aces. Is apparently um, based on, it's loosely based on the character from... Um, 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 the look is loosely based on Grifter, but that actually came out after he had designed the character and described it. And so one of us said, oh, you mean like this? And he's like, yeah, I guess it's kind of like that. So the look is like him, but the um, the powers are not Grifter. Yeah, basically, Dirty Harry Callahan in the superhero universe. <laughs> I carry guns. <laughs> Cool. I shoot things. I'm good at shooting things. That's about it. And I'm apparently very lucky. Yes. His, uh, his tagline, and I can't do the accent uh, justice to Alex, so Brandon, why don't you do it? Because Alex, John, and Brandon used to joke around with that accent a lot. Lucky, I guess. There we go. So, uh, why don't we go to you next, Brian? Who are you playing? Okay. Uh, today I'm playing the Scarab Queen. A teenager who was seems to be possessed by an ancient Egyptian de an ancient Egyptian deity, it looks like, or some powerful being who is most likely malevolent and well, can very easily kill people. As a Yeah, it seems. Still kinda of figuring out the personality I'm gonna go for it for it, so I'm not gonna Sure. Uh, by the way, for Tim, we do have a character portrait for Aces. I'm sorry, I don't have character portraits for everyone. Uh, I have one in process with, for Scarab by someone, but it's been a bit delayed. So, um, Joanne, why don't you tell us about the character you chose to play tonight? Well, I actually had the luck of being able to play this character in another game of Supers and actually found that I really enjoyed playing her. She is a professor of history. American history in particular. She's very strong. She's not the sort you would like to arm wrestle with, even though from looking at her, you would not necessarily assume that she was as strong as she is. She's the sort of person that throws buildings around. If She, would, she was probably the sort that if she had a temper tantrum as a child, she'd throw the building around. Cool. So, and, yeah, she... There's no language. All languages, in particular those connected to mankind, she can read, understand, and write. And there's a few other things about her that may be revealed during the show. I don't want to reveal everything. So uh, I just want to point out the character's name is Lady Liberty, a.k.a. Alexa Livingston, and there is a character portrait of her there as well. Uh, that was uh, So Alex, what about you? What are you playing tonight? Um, I made up my own kid, Justice, who is a uh, six-year-old meddling kid that's going to, um, I guess it's imbued with the spirit of justice and will get in the way to frustrate and 
uh, aggravate super villain. Cool. Six years old, huh? Six years That's old. That's right. Okay, cool. And as for me, I'm going to be playing Sho Von Shaw, a.k.a. Uh, Mistress Mysteria. She is a... Um, she grew up with a per, uh, with a father who she thought the world of. He turned out to be a NRA style supervillain, and when she found out, she ran away from home. So she ended up falling in with basically a um, a circus that had some quirks about it. Uh, it turned out that within the circus, had there was a secret society uh, that went out and did good for mankind and her teacher would disappear from time to time and leave her uh, running the circus at times and later on she took on the job of going out for herself so she is a circus themed uh, mystic named Mistress Mysteria go ahead Brandon you're up sure um, finishing one word here in my notes okay sure. um and everybody other than Alex was using a pregen that Brandon and I provided, aka characters yeah. that were historically used somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. Once again, we have three Alice characters and then one somebody else character. So. Well, thank um, you guys for liking my characters. I appreciate that. All right. So you guys are a, a superhero team based in New York City. Um, that you are the Sentinels. Um, which has nothing to do with the fact that the superhero team there is also called the Sentinels. It was actually uh, decided well before I, I had Mutants and Masterminds uh, in the setting that so, these originally were. You stole but, your ID, Brandon. Sue for everything they got. I know. It also has nothing to do with Sentinels of the Multiverse, which we're is now a big card game. It was... Yep, and to be specific, we are the new Sentinels because the original Sentinels were killed at in 9/11 instead of instead different of, universe, uh, Alice. Oh, I'm sorry, different universe. Okay, I apologize. So, anyways, um, that's the team, crisis. and you're basically like a, a Justice League uh, type group. Um, and uh, so, apparently, in this version of them, you are allowing six-year-olds into the team. <laughs> yep, hey, apparently. Uh, Billy Patson got in, right? Yeah, but he looks like a, a you know an adult, and uh, in Young Justice they had this big thing after they figured out who he was. Mm -hmm. But that that's that's your team. Uh, you each know a little bit about uh, each other's capabilities. Uh, Aces uh, shoots his gun really good, and he's uh, decent at investigation, and he has the power of determination and luck. He says, uh, "Lady Liberty is super strong. She flies." And, uh, you know, is uh, probably the uh, most beautiful individual uh, that you've ever met. Mistress Mysteria has a number of strange circus-themed magic tricks in her hat. Um, and if you've ever seen the Rocky and Bullwinkle uh, intro, uh, she probably can do that, too. <laughs> the Scarab Queen, not to be one-upped, is another mystic. This one, uh, rather than circus-themed, has uh, control of all sorts of bugs for bug-like tricks. And um, and then you have uh, Kid Justice, that maybe he's not actually on the team. He might just be kind of hanging around and pestering you guys, kind of like a fifth-dimensional imp or something that you can just cannot get rid of. I, I'm not certain. Um, uh, I, I believe he has the power of aggravation and moves pretty quick. Do we need to say his name backwards? Can't outrun Justice. Do we all need to say his name backwards three times really fast and then send him back to his universe? It 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 could not hurt. I'm I'm certain of that. Uh, Maybe we have to find out his real name and say it, and then he has to leave. Yeah, his true name. Let's say his name backwards. Say Should we lock backwards. him up until then? <laughs> Maybe you're the bad guy this week, Alex. <laughs> no, Alex is not the, bad, the guy. bad guy. I'm Kid Justice. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> I got two of them. <laughs> oh, player, not character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are we are the Sentinels. Awesome. Yes. Hi. Right, so, um, you guys are in uh, New York. Um, it is uh, just before Thanksgiving. Uh, a major storm is blowing in, um, and uh, just giving horrible 
weather patterns all over. The, the storm was unexpected. Um, and uh, it was a, a sudden confluence of events that led to this massive winter storm uh, that has basically uh, shut New York down. Um, that it, you know, there was a, a storm by all means blowing in, but they did not expect it to this be this bad. There is snow piling up in the streets. Uh, and all all sorts of different problems are currently currently have been going on, and um, you, they are trying to get all planes out of the air. At this point, you guys are uh, called in, um, and uh, your on on your your team's comms. You have a artificial intelligence named Mindy that uh, that assists your group, and uh, so uh, up to this point, you guys have probably been. You know, if you're in your superhero guys, perhaps helping. If you're in your regular guys, you know, either going about your your Thanksgiving preparations or possibly helping in other ways to different things. But um, each of you uh, is looped in on your your earbuds, um, and uh, as uh, Mindy Mindy comes on, and. Uh, <clears throat> Greetings, heroes, and I hope this day finds you well. Uh, happy Eve of Thanksgiving. Is that a thing that you do? There, there is a Christmas Eve and a New Year's Eve. Is there a thing? This is not important right now. Uh, I am reach, calling to each of you because I have been uh, made aware of a situation. There is a plane that has crashed in upstate New York, and as transportation is extremely difficult at this time they the local authorities are hoping to reach out to the sentinels and use you as a search and rescue for these individuals on my way uh, mm out tap circus tent appears i step through okay mm -hmm. where so are you going else um i am going to the location that she gave me on the gps there's no GPS and no location has been given yet. Oh, okay. Well, my bad. Upstate New York is all I know, right? So, that, that is what you have so far. Kid Justice, you were going to say something. Do we suspect any foul play? Um, the last, we, at, at Sentinel's uh, headquarters, we do have the audio. I can loop it in over the earbuds if you would like. Uh, the audio is by all means broken, and I am trying to recover what I can the storm was interfering greatly with uh, with their reception. Uh, the storm seems to have given them a great deal of problems during their, their flight, and it is believed that the plane crashed in the Adriandek Mountains. Am I saying that right, by the way? I've only ever read that name. Adira uh, it's Adirondack. Adirondack. I had there to figure we go. out what you were saying for a moment. I know. Yeah, I, I realized that like I didn't have the word in front of me, and I was trying to go off memory. Do... Um... Yeah, Adirondack Mountains. Okay, so I'm sorry, I misunderstood initially. I thought that she had a location for us. Uh, do you have any? Do you have any footage or ability to pinpoint, Mindy? Uh, we we have no footage of the event. Simply that the plane has not. Uh, the the pilots announced that uh, their their engines were going out, and they are no longer showing up on radio control towers. We have a large area to, uh, that it is possible that they they have crashed in. It is rough terrain. There is n not there are no roads in there other than uh, occasional fire roads that have been cut through. Okay, uh, I'm gonna wait to see if uh, other people ha have have uh, power to use. But if not, Brandon, I'm going to stunt my illusion to uh, track it. I'll explain in a moment, but I'll, I can hero point it if somebody. Uh, I. So you aren't together at all, Alice, once again. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, if somebody else in the party has a way to pinpoint it and can communicate that, I'm going to not worry about it. But otherwise, I can stunt for it. So. Silence. Silence. Where are we, um, where are we mating to head to the area? Yeah, does someone want to come pick me up? I can pick you up. The Adirondack Mountains is a very large area. Unless we know a more specific area, I don't know that there is much of a 
point in finding a place to meet yet. Just get to the general area and splitting up to search. Mindy? Uh, yes, last please, known, Mindy. Last known location of the plane, please? Um, I Would you like that and, as GPS coordinates? Uh, we would take it in GPS and on a, a visual if possible. Uh, no visuals are currently available. Yeah, I already asked for visuals, and the and there was no. no uh, last I meant on a map. I meant map. Um, flight route would be good because if they're going to, hopefully, we that will give us a starting point and possible to calculate projected area. Because I mean, a plane can only go so far within us that in the time frame, so that will give us and help us narrow down the area. I never was very good at math. Uh, I'll leave that to you, LL. It's no problem. I get right on top. As soon as I've got the information, I'll get on top of it. If um, if the rest of you think that you can find it, uh, let me know. I'll meet you there. If not, I might be able to try something and see if I can find that plane. So she she lists off uh, you know a, a long series of numbers, um, mm -hmm. and um, you know it's in um, I believe the about forty forty four and neg seventy three you know with lots of things after the decimal. Okay, can I get a image of the projected of the planned route and of the maps? of the mountain so i want to i want to I get do, i do by all means have those available at headquarters i'll be i'll head right there and pick up kid justice on the way a uh, quick question Brian. mom i'm going out with my teacher friend hmm? <laughs> awesome <laughs> oh my gosh that's awesome alex hero point I was gonna. I was already starting to text you that, Brandon. Uh, Brian, I texted you some stuff in Discord. Yeah, by the way. I saw. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, okay, well, I will teleport to the general vicinity where LL thinks that um, we need to go. Okay. It sounds she like I was going to you. Sentinel Hall, Alice. Yep. So I'm going to go and meet them at Sentinel Hall. That's where they're cool. saying we're meeting up. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will do the same. Um, has uh, satellite been able to pick up anything? This was a plane that went down, right? Satellites yeah, have a, a general vicinity of where it last was, but the storm is wreaking havoc with any imagery that they might be um, able to get. You said we have a fami we're familiar with each other's powers? Yes. Scarab, can you sense the dead from the plane crash? <clears throat> Alice, you should look at the scarab right up because I don't think that she ever had the the points for that. Okay, I didn't for know. Uh, much of it. that. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, she did not. I'm looking have... at this moment. She has the pathways of the dead, but she doesn't have yeah. the sense on it. So she'd have to stunt just like I would have to stunt for it. <laughs> Brandon, can Alex please get another hero point? God damn it. Okay. Um, for the record, everyone, Alex's character's last name is Young, J-Y-J-U-N-G. Uh, you know, as in Carl Young. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's because he's so young. Young, yep. But um, bump. Doesn't that be more European, right? Yep, it is European. Not Chinese or... Okay, well, um, I'm at. I leave my uh, leave where I am and go to Sentinel Hall. I'm going to knock on the door of Kid Justice's house. Are Are you waiting in the house or are you out in front, bundled up for the cold right now, Kid Justice? Uh, I think <laughs> I'd be at the door, bundled up. So you, you knock on the door and all of a sudden, you know, this, uh, you know, basically Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes bundled up completely for the, the winter weather is uh, uh, opens the door. It has the little cloth superhero mask and uh, towel 
uh, tied around his. You ready? I'm ready. Bye, Mom. Bye. Mrs. Mrs. Young will be back later. I'm just taking him to the National Museum today. In, in this weather, really? Yes, he missed a number of reports, so he has to do some extra credit. Extra credit in kindergarten. Uh, this this uh, common core has first really grade, changed things. First grade, Mom. It's first grade. Actually, it's, he's in first grade and he's gifted. So unless you want him to fall behind and end up in, well, nobody left, gets left behind. Yeah. Uh, Hi. Alex, <laughs> Alex, what's your character's real name and first name? Very. <laughs> yeah, heaven forbid he goes to school and has a normal childhood. Uh, I, 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 want sure to know his, I want to know the name, please. I feel like this is like a secret plot to piece it together so you can say it backwards. No, it's not to say it backwards. You'll see what I mean. No. His name is Alex, Young Young. It's Kevin. Brandon, can you please say Kevin with uh, Howard's mother's uh, voice now? No. <laughs> I feel like he's like going to grow up to be a Howard. Oh, no, he's Pulsifier, Alice. Mm. Um. Oh, uh, the the mother comes out, and the the smell of you know uh, of cooking food and oh, such, God. and uh, Thanksgiving preparation uh, wafts from the kitchen, and she she sees you, um, Lexa, and uh, she's like, "Oh, I've always told his father that he is just a little gift." She she comes up and uh, picks you up and uh, gives you a kiss. Uh, uh, I don't know if you're old enough to be embarrassed by that yet, Mom. <clears throat> um, we really do need to get going. Well, stay I'm safe. by the hand and start leading him down the footpath. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So, uh, you you guys, uh, so three of you I've heard are heading to Sentinel Hall. I am as well. Okay. I'll uh, hop in my um, my Ferrari. I'll see. Oh, it's Christmas. It's Thanksgiving, American holiday. My 1957 rebuilt Ford Mustang. He uh, the the car that he he drove around in was actually one of the original Bond cars when we ran. So uh, the fact that you're you're just picking awesome cars is is fantastic, fantabulous. So 1957 Ford Mustang. Iron Gen Red. So, um... Everybody groups up at, at Sentinel Hall. It, it has the same address as Avengers Mansion, right on, uh, right fronting the park. Okay. Uh, so when I get there, which takes me, you know, blink of an eye. Any luck, Mindy? Um, so up on, up on monitors, you guys have, uh, the projected flight route from the, the plane, which is uh, flying um, south from Canada down to to New York. Uh, they, you know, they show where the the plane started running into the storm. You know, uh, they um, after shortly after that, they were having a lot of radio difficulties as other as well as some other problems on the plane. Um, the the storm began to worsen and worsen. And uh, then they they reported, you know, started reporting engine failure and quickly went down after that. So she's got, you know, a 50, uh, approximately 50 mile square mile area of the uh, mountains that they believe that the plane might be down in. They still have uh, the the towers searching for, you know, any further sign and are trying to mount what search and rescue they can. But given the the inclement weather, they are not thinking that mundane search and rescue is going to get there, and they are definitely unwilling to take flying vehicles into the area for the moment. Okay. Um, so it sounds like they have a very large area with that, uh, with that information, not really something to pinpoint. Uh, at that point, I'd like to power stunt my illusion. Okay. Um, I am going to 
start generating basically I'm going to pick up um, a a fishbowl an empty fishbowl uh, actually sorry I'm MM I apologize um, I'm gonna take off my hat and blow on it and it turns into a empty fishbowl I turn it over and I start to shake it and it starts to basically turn into a snow globe and I'm going to basically uh, start creating the scene um, of where the plane was crashing and such like that inside the snow globe with the blizzard and create the terrain and such of where it crashes. Then I'm going to utilize, uh, say, can you tell me where this spot is, Mindy? So do you have any scry type capabilities, sweetie? Mm. I have create, uh, I have hat trick, which is a create. I have illusion. So, um, I'm trying to see if I have the scry itself after that last change. Um, yeah, I have mystical magical awareness senses six. So I have, I can stretch it. Like I said, it would be a stunt for me. I have three different abilities that I can mesh together. So therefore I can take the extra effort to stunt it. I, I have sheet. I have magical awareness senses six detect magic analytical magic awareness magical uh, long range da, 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 da. okay so I can turn that into a scry so those are all much more uh, local range uh, abilities to find magic itself or notice something off with magic um, just going through your powers here. Yeah, like I said, I would be combining them to stunt alternate effect of stuff that would be similar on those three. I uh... Maybe Miss Scarab can get some bugs to tell her where it is. I can attempt it, however it's... They're not extremely fast. Be easier if we get if we got over there first, and then I can start set, trying to send out swarms. Out of character, you do have something that's more fitting for the stunting than I do. Um, Pathways mm -hmm. of the Dead, you can stunt that to basically uh, say that you're stepping into the realm of the dead and start talking to the deceased passengers to try and find the location because you can stunt that, that's a much more, uh, less of a stretch of a stunt than me, combining three different ones that kind of can work. Um, yeah, oh yeah, Scarab can, does teleports through the realm of the dead, doesn't she? Yes, she teleports through the realm of the dead, literally walking through the valley of the dead. Okay. Though we might be really lucky and none of the passengers are dead. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be we could be really lucky. Yeah. If we act quickly. Yep. So Brandon, yeah, if you're saying that me combining the uh, combining create seven illusion five and you know uh, my uh, my awareness is a little bit of a stretch, I totally understand. That's fine. I don't need to worry about my extra effort then. Now I used uh, pathways of the dead to get here. Mm-hmm. Could I have actually asked that while I was doing that, or? Sure, you know. Because um, I you, didn't you even have... realize that ability could <clears throat> be stretched to that way, but. Uh, the ability can't, but by all means with the hero point. And I'm, I'm close to giving Alice, but she just doesn't have any scry ability on her character. Mm -hmm. You do have scrying. Alice has a great idea of, you know. Yeah. talking with the my, dead and my 180 so. point i know has has a scry i know that she had to drop it from for the 150 point which i totally get mm -hmm. can't have that you know can once, only have so much once you have once you have a psychic connection to a beetles you send a swarm of beetles just the area just to look around oh uh, she does have that yeah, uh, does uh, have that, that is something i was going to attempt when we actually got over there since since i'm assuming i can't throw them extremely far uh, that but, itself would be a stunt uh, because they've got, I think... And stunt's only an know, extra effort unless you unless the, the, there are certain stunts that require a hero point. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the, the for, um, for the bugs, they've got a range on them. I don't have your sheet yeah. open right now, but, you know, it's like 1,800 feet on 
I don't know if that's what it ended uh, up. Two fifty, five hundred, one thousand. Oh, okay. Yeah, his longest range is going to be his Pathways of the Dead, which teleports two hundred and fifty miles. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, by all means, you could uh, you could go into the the uh, realm of the dead and find if you could you know find anything, um, and uh, you could do that now on your way over. It doesn't really matter okay. on that. Uh, so then, uh, then, as I'm passing through, and as I'm have still in, I will start begin kind of trying to call out for the spirits of this flight. Try to br send out some. Uh, I start asking for uh, just calling out to them to start a communication. Okay. Um, if I can. Go ahead. Go ahead with what. You you I started talking and you stopped and I didn't mean to interrupt you. Okay. Well, so it we'll... was. I, if I can start a communication, then I'll go from there. If I'm not able to, then. All right. Um. Go ahead. Um. So yeah, you will be using extra effort, which will uh, put fatigued on you. Basically, it's going to reduce all your movement forms um, by one. And like I mentioned earlier, you can find that the measurement table on the second page of the uh, of the handout that I passed. Um, and uh, go ahead and roll for me your uh, Pathways of the Dead, since that is what you are attempting to stunt with. Pathways of the Dead roll. Uh, times five. Does it have a roll on here? It should have a teleport rank. It's a teleport eight. Teleport rank eight. So yeah, D twenty plus eight. Okay. Uh seventeen. No not a bad roll, not a bad roll. Um as you are are attempting to to you know feel about as you are moving through the, the land of the dead. Um, and, you know, which is far less disturbing to the Scarab Queen than to most everybody else that she takes through it. Um, you, uh, you take some time, uh, attune yourself to the, the realm and search out for that, um, you know, pulling out ghost scarabs to, to search far and wide for you for where this, this has occurred. And, uh, you, you, you know, send them out and, uh, we will go ahead and leave it with the, the ghost scarabs uh, going out, and uh, you will have to return to the lands of the dead later on for them to have returned to you. And so then you come into the meeting while they're talking GPS and such like that. Um, and so that brings us back to the, the current where she already has some, uh, some minions out searching for it. Okay. Be I've begun a search. It take time, but we'll see how it turns up soon. It's Anything like, else? Go ahead. It seems everything is taking a lot of time. I'm certain if there are any survivors, we don't have much time to waste. Do we have projections? Any? Projections for maintaining life in this kind of environment without shelter are poor at best. Or do we have like a team vehicle, like a plane or something, or a BTOL or a helicopter or anything like that? Uh, oh, wait a no. minute. That's really bad, though. No, but uh, if if uh, you know you you have uh, somebody fantabulously wealthy that could probably uh, get one, though flying conditions into that area is uh, is very poor at the moment. Um, I am the vehicle. Mindy, Could... I did want to thank you for reprogramming yourself so you stopped stating the astronomically terrible percentiles. Like I said, I was never very good at math. It is all still right, an option. Know. No, thank you. Yes, please. Asa says, all right, forget, forget all the magic and everything. Let's let's get out there, okay? It's too I'll hard see. to fly. I'll see uh, you there. Let's get it. We'll, get uh, into a, we'll get into an ATV and head up there. I mark on the map where I will meet yeah, them. Yeah, he said. And I'm going to uh, open up a a tent. And actually, let me just double check this version. 
I want to see, make sure that I can't take them with me on this character. 50 pounds. Um, yeah, so I'm going to open my teleport and I'm going to step through. Um, I want to quick, while they were talking and such, is it possible for me to have taken the coordinates, the planned route, and overlaid that on the map? I want to see if I can narrow it down just a little bit more. Sure. What are you uh, trying to, uh, I mean, you've got the map right there, um, you know, nice big digital screen that you can uh, zoom in on and such like that on the topography and such. Um, I want to and... know oh, mm. the wind, dire wind direction, strength of the wind, the up possible updrafts. I mean, that's all probably going to be noted and known by in the system. Yeah, you guys are getting a lot of information from uh, the the aviation, you know, area. Yeah, planned route, last point, and how long it was between the last radio contact and such. Uh, the you know, you guys respond were brought in almost immediately due to the the severity of the situation, and so it's been uh, about ten minutes since uh, last radio contact. Mm -hmm that they, they got um, with, uh, you know, looking of bringing up the information and such. Uh, Alexa has eidetic memory, which basically gives her expertise in everything at a, a role of her intelligence. Um, it's uh, one reason Alice loved uh, being smart. Um, so go yeah, ahead. I and well, too. Yep. As you are, as you are trying to uh, apply that and uh, looking, you know, looking at all the data that you can get, go ahead and make me an intelligence roll to try and come up with something on where you think that might have ended up. Brandon, while she's doing that, I just want to uh, relate. Um, since uh, MM's teleport is much shorter range than Pathways of the Dead, I'm going to be doing uh, jumps. And as I do jumps on my way, I'm going to pick up uh, various objects and I'm going to be... Uh, creating myself, transforming the items that I pick up between trips into uh, cold weather gear. And so when I show up on, finally end up at my final destination, I'm going to be a nice big parka and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm nice. pretty sure I'm only in cold weather gear because so I've been flying around. For, uh, 23. Extra, uh, and blankets. Good justice. What was that? And I'll look, take a quick look around uh, base if we have any like extra coats or blankets. <laughs> Grab a button. Okay. Uh, yeah, as you're, you know, trying to uh, plot things out and such, you have a, a couple of, uh, of smaller areas that you think, you know, if the, the plane were in those, that they'd be having a lot harder time getting a radio signal out, um, you know, hidden valleys and such like that, that you believe that they might end up um, having landed in. Okay. I'm going to portray the, that information to MM. Uh, LL, you're coming in a little scratchy. Say again. I'm getting really inside the storm at this point. I will give her the information that you gave which, me just now. Which location do you want me to meet you at? Site A or Site B? B. Let's start with B. It's got a higher percentage of them from the point B. We don't have time to discuss. Understood. So, I'll see you there. Right. You guys ready? Ready when you are. I'm going to step through uh, the pathways of, or step through the realm of the dead. As I'm doing it, I'm actually going to be pulling on physical scarabs to cover my body as a kind of heat to kind of a form of heat shield or something as if as much as i can okay uh are the others going in the pathways of the dead with you or i believe i can only take 50 pounds and with no you can open a gate you can open a gate you've got gate i don't oh oh i did not realize that well then i will open this then i will open the gate to it look back Anybody who wants to come can, but try not to wait too long, or you won't be able to leave. And you are two hundred and fifty miles, so you get you can yep. get there a lot faster. Yeah. 
Well, I'm going to. I'm offering it to anybody who's who is coming in. Jesus, guys, why can't we just take a normal way? I guess we we'll use magic since it's the only thing guys know how to use is your powers all the damn time. Fine. Would you prefer to get there when they're all dead. All right, fine. Let's go. <laughs> I hate it when we go this way and pull like so, I'm, 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 I'm going to grab Kid, I'm going to grab Kid Justice and pull his hat over his eyes and then tuck him under my arm and then just walk through the gate. Uh hero point for Lexa. <laughs> Not cool. talking to you. Let me mute you so you don't pop on all the time. So Brandon, I, I should say be there the whole time that it. Also, the time that we're going through it, I'm going to start having bits of spectral insects start cl climbing up aces for his comment. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> aces, as you uh, as you walk through the this desolate landscape of uh, of the dead, uh, you you begin to see the the faces of your partners that before you realized that you were a powered individual and took on a, a super heroic mantle back when you lived a, a semi-normal life as as an officer you uh had fallen in with a, a group of older officers that were trying to combat the corruption that was going on in the in the force mm -hmm. one day you were arrived a few minutes late to a meeting and you were there to witness as the, the apartment that all of those officers were in explode. And there you, you begin to see the faces as you walk through the land of the dead of the, the officers that passed on that night. The, your friends, your colleagues, those that had your back. And they look at you with these blank stares, mouths agape, skin hanging off obvious burns uh, still on them from the explosion. You never went back to your normal life after that. Since then, you've lived hidden, not even your family knowing that you still still are here, everyone believing that you were killed in that same accident. Accident. Sure. Bombing. I'll get him, guys. One day... Get them all. That's Alexa. Right. We'll get justice. <laughs> this comes from the, the wrapped up thing, a uh, little football under Alexa's arm, and she's trucking through the land of the dead. I think I already know what's coming for Lexa. Um, I knew what was coming for Aces, too. but And Lexa, similarly, before you ever became a super powered mm -hmm. superhero, on. Uh, different from the superhero that you always aspired to be, uh, using your, your family's wealth, your great education to do great works um, for, you know, people. But there was a, a man that was tasked as your bodyguard. And um, one time you, you and he were both kidnapped, um, where you were to be ransomed. And he... The two of you were, you know, in a warehouse together, tied up, and somehow the the bonds that were were restraining you guys broke apart. The two of you started to to run. There were were gunshots, and he he fell. You remember carrying him. You carried him for a mile in just a matter of moments. You're not really certain how that happened at first, but adrenaline does things that are just amazing. And it's his face that stares at you in the land of the dead as you walk through that desolate landscape. These ghost scarabs coming, you know, swarming down to meet the scarab queen in this land that they, that looks like the locusts have just ravaged over completely. Yep, Marcus Dixon. Or was it Dixon Marcus? It was the reverse of whatever he's from originally. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Dixon Marcus. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, Marcus Dixon mm -hmm. was the show. Yep. Okay. Um, and uh, the, the uh, scarabs 
uh, uh, come back to you, um, Scarab Queen, as you guys are are on your your journey through the the land of the dead, where uh, you you're able to take strides and cross great bounds in a in a short while. Um, and they they have uh, gone out and in the mountains that you you described, they have found a number of uh, of recently departed. Uh, individuals um, and then looking you guys can all basically have you know like a, a, a ruggedized iPad type thing um, with you since you're you're talking about maps and all um, but uh, the the uh, the site a you guys were heading to site B but the site a that you thought you uh, that Lexa had determined uh, looks like where the these fatalities are coming through and uh, Alice, since it was your idea on that power stunt, I, I like it. I'm going to pass that uh, hero point over to you. Thank you. Because I think that's a cool hero point. Thank you very much. Or that's a cool idea. Okay, uh, I should be there ahead of them a little bit. And uh, when I get there, I'm going to make myself a pillow with the snow. So reach out and it starts to embroider some snow into a pillow. And I'm going to start flying. How far do you, uh, how far do you, um, teleport, mistress? Um, I teleport eight miles at a time before I make a, it, so, eight miles. All right, um, you know, you want to say you get there first? That's fine. Okay. So, you're, you're making a pillow of snow and what now? And I start basically scouting around for, um, start looking for the... For the crash site. Okay. If, um, I, if I find signs of the crash site, I want to know if you will allow me to stunt uh, Winds of Magic Nullify 10 uh, to actually calm local winds. Normally it counters magic. This character, yes. uh, this character is very heavily magic on magic. Mm-hmm. So. Um. So go ahead and make me an awareness check. That's what we call it, right? I believe so. Perception or awareness. Yeah, exactly. No, it's perception in this one. Okay. Oh, I think awareness might be the stat. That's right. Yes. Sure thing. And um, uh, go ahead and use any of your, your mystic stuff. Um, sure. That, uh, if you have any modifiers uh, from your mystic senses, you can use... 23. Uh, wow. Wow. I get nice a plus eight on the base perception, so. Not bad. Um, there is something that is not settled within this region, and you know as soon as you teleport in, uh, Mistress Mysteria, that, that something has, is here that was not, is not supposed to be at this point. Okay. The, the power, um, the opposing mystic power is definitely growing by all means. Okay, uh, I'm going to get on my comms. Um, MM to team, MM to sentinels, can you hear me? Uh, you oh, guys, yeah. as you guys come come out of the land of the dead, um, uh, somewhat haunted by the images that you all, the two of you saw uh, during during your trip, um, are all of a sudden start getting a, a transmission, mid-transmission from Mistress Mysteria. You all go ahead. I'm staying in this realm. The portal will close behind them with me still inside. Okay. Having the bugs take me directly to those souls. MM to Sentinels, do you read? We read. Yeah, I learned that. There's, would I describe this as profane, Brandon? You're saying that it sounds, feels unsettled? Yes. Okay. Uh, LL, be, be on a, uh, sorry. Be aware, there's profane magic here. As I recall, you may uh, suffer problems in profane areas. Oh, God. People know Thanks for the warning. That kind of language. <laughs> a profane in the arcane sense. There is uh, magic here, and it is growing stronger. Uh, I am uncertain what is causing it or where it is from, but I will try and pinpoint it. 
So yeah, I wish to at that point try and use uh, my magical. Oh, and actually, I could have added six to my. Uh, uh, the 23, if I added six to that, so 29, would I have been able to get a sense of direction and where? Why are you adding six to it? Uh, my magical sense is six. I forgot to add that onto. No, no, don't add time. that. That's just the the points that you spent to okay, get. Okay, you, you told me to get, add the bonus, so I didn't. I, I didn't, didn't know if you had bonuses on detecting mystical things. Ah, okay, yeah, no, I didn't. So yeah, um, I'm going to try and actually uh, use my magical sense to try and uh, get a better idea of what kind of profane, profane arcane magic or divine magic it is. I want to get a sense also of where it's from. So uh, at this point, I'm going to land and um, both my hands uh, reach up. The filigree on my gloves starts to lift off and it starts to just, it just shoots into the ground, into the snow and it starts to dig and it starts to worm its way around uh, and basically starts to create its own version of ley lines as you start to see emanation coming up from underneath the snow as it's trying to, as it's trying to track it. So let me try and roll that. Hey, that's an 18 on the die. It seems to like my description. So, um, with my awareness, or with my magical awareness six, that would be a twenty-four. Okay. Um, as you you are are trying to to perceive uh, what is is going on and such, and searching the land for answers, um, coming back to you, um, you're. Everything goes white in, in a whiteout for a for a time. Okay. And then it begins to, to clear. You see through the through the snow, just heavy, you know, heavy uh, rifts of snow coming down. Um, and you you see that there's this uh, bundled up uh, older Native American man. Um, who, who begins to, to talk in a language that you don't understand. You, he, he is chanting, um, and uh, you, you begin to search the area. And even though it's snowing, there's this intense warmth. You, you look down um, and into a caldera and see this just pool of magma that is boiling and churning, rising up higher and higher as this, this man is chanting. And the chant that he is doing is not what is, uh, what is um, you know, giving like you this profane holding, sense. He's holding it back, it sounds like. The scene is that um, he's chanting to maintain whatever's holding it. As you as you uh, look, you know, look about um, into the distance, searching for anything else across the, the the cauldron, you can make out the the song and form of other uh, shamans. It sounds like to you, other medicine men that uh, were perhaps involved in this. Okay. And at each of the stations uh, that that one of them is, you you see a a body on the on the ground the the one in front of you is uh is a fanged stag fanged stag on the ground in front of me okay yeah um, you can't make out the bodies at the the other stations that there are but you you see this and then you you look up as these uh tendrils of magical energy become more and more apparent in their chant and there floating is this this winged form uh goat-legged man uh, you know demon creature that uh these energies from these seven points are are attaching to binding and kind of ghostbustering him down into that magma caldera so I believe, do I believe that I am seeing this um, basically having a vision of the past right now? Or do I believe this is something that's still ongoing, that these spirits are bound here? You think that you're probably seeing a vision of the past. Okay. Can I, um, with, what is, what I, with what I'm feeling, can I sense anything that's currently present? No, you do not. You, you you tried to delve into what was giving you 
uh, the heebie-jeebies. Mm -hmm. And that is both heebie and jeebie. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do at that point is try and memorize uh, using syllabic, um, just basically syllable to syllable, not trying to remember it as a language or remembering as sentences, but I'm trying to memorize syllable to syllable uh, the chant so that I can replay it in um, when I come out of my uh, when I come out of my thing. So go ahead and give me your expertise magic. Sure. That's pretty good. Uh, 19. Didn't okay. go well. And, Hi. uh, yeah. So, that's what I'm gonna do for the moment. You're, you're done for a little while. Yep. Let's, uh, let's cut okay. over to Scarab. I'm having the, uh, the Scarabs lift me up and bring me directly to where those souls are coming from. Okay. To any of those to <laughs> directly speak with them, try to gain what, hap knowledge of what exactly happened on that plane. Sure. Um, they they bring you over to to one of the individuals that is uh, has has come through. Um, they <clears throat> have this uh, this call over their uh, over their their head, kinda, you know, flesh that has kind of grown over their their eyes and such. Um, they un, unable to. Uh, deal with uh with the trauma of dying uh it often occurs that basically people will come through into the world changed in this way that they are incapable of really perceiving it on the same level that they had before and uh they the energy of them is uh smells fresh from the from the the world of the living and that often attracts predators in the land of the dead Hmm. These people in this state, I'm assuming they're not still able to speak? Uh, it depends on um, the, the individual. They, you know, some of them, you, you can break through to them. Others of them um, basically stay in a, a semi-mindless form. It all depends on the person, the trauma that they dealt with, and how they cope with trauma, just like in the real world, hmm. dealing with it. Okay. Then I'm going to use Might of a Million Legs. I'm going to lift them all up. Okay. And where are you going with them? I am I am standing up on the raised on a raised section of them of scarabs, and I'm bringing them each to me individually, seeing if any any of them are coherent. Sure. You you pull them uh to you um you scarab actually you you have medical knowledge uh is it treatment or i think uh is what you've got pretty high uh as science i have treatment yes all right go ahead and roll your treatment uh 23 okay so um as uh the and they they seem to be be scattered in different areas and such of the of the, of the locale and such, you begin having your scarabs search out and uh, and grab them, bring them to you, and most of them seem similar. That they are, you know, these these damaged in individuals that uh, that are incapable of really comprehending what has occurred to them at this time. What you are noticing, most of the most beings that pass bear the marks uh, of their passing, similar to. The uh, the burns that Aces was just seeing on on his uh, officers uh, officer friends, um, and so a lot of these you are seeing the the kind of trauma that you associate with accidents and such like that, uh, but then you start to see some that have been assaulted by animals or or something else. Um, and uh, that they they bear obvious different marks than you know metal that has uh, has scythed through them uh, during a, an accident or uh, or just the the crush injuries that they sustained as things impacted upon them um, these are are far more more jagged um, they definitely are showing signs like animal attacks have have gone on one of the the individuals uh, still still has, that you know, kind of covering, partially hanging, but it looks like they 
they have have ripped it uh, <coughs> apart um, and are are crying and wailing um, as uh, as they are are pulled towards you, um, and uh, they they um, are calling out that uh, that they you know. Let me get this. The darkness descended upon us. The storm and the winds. The snow everywhere. The cold tore in. The cabin was frozen. But then the warmth that came. It was warm for but a moment. Eternal cold seeps. And life plunges away. Oh, oh my daughter. My, my cherished angel, where are you? I search for you still. Please, please you come back. You haven't found her. Please, please. And she uh, seems to be trying to search the area. Similarly, doesn't really seem like she is really coherent about what mm -hmm. has happened or what will happen. But, uh, yeah, is, is definitely uh, more purposeful than these other ones. Mm. Oh, that at least gave me some information, but not enough. Let's see something really quick. I'll go ahead and pause you there. Uh, to the, the rest of the team, Kid Justice, Lady Liberty, and Aces. Um, you've got uh, one arm for each of them if you want to fly around, Lexa. Um, what are you three up to? Uh, the Scarab Queen has uh, has left you guys a little stranded, um, and uh, Mistress Mysteria has dropped off of comms. Head in whatever direction I think the yeah, plane okay. is in. We need to find her. We noticed she was here ahead of us or behind us or what? She was here ahead of you. Or we need to head to the location of where, where we think she is. Um, Should I either be a point A or point B? We've Close to B. Let's have a look there. If she's not there, we can head to A. I'm going to grab the kid by and tuck him under my arm. I'm going to look at Ace. This is just going to be easy. Just hop on my back. Well, listen. Why don't you let the kid do something? Can he? Isn't he a superhero like the rest of y'all? Can you fly? Huh? Uh, can I fight? I know you can fight. I'm asking if he can fly. Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. What? Can you fly? Can I fly? Yes. No. Right. Then on my back. Oh, you want me to get on your back? Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to, not as fast, not at full speed because I haven't got a way of protecting them, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I want to fly over the area to see what we can find, see if okay. we can find the crash site and such. Keep an eye. I need you guys to act as eyes. Okay. All right. Lexa, with your strength, you, you begin to, to fly up and those winds smash into you. You're able to easily push through. Um, however, the, the other two, uh, one of them being a, a, a pile of, uh, you know, wiggling blankets underneath your, your arm and, uh, one of them holding on desperately to your, your back. I'm going to Why keep a hold of him on his, I'm going to grab his leg. Okay. So if he falls on he'll, I mean, he'll be hanging upside down. Drop the blanket. <laughs> Sorry, Ace. Um, why don't you guys, uh, go ahead and, um, you can roll athletics or, well, strength would be the same as an athletics roll if you don't have it. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, athletics. do they get any bonuses because I'm assisting them? 19 um, on the die plus five is 24 for me. 24. Nice. You can go ahead and uh, and roll your strength as an assist. Okay. Thirty. 
What about you, Aces? Uh, I got a 16. Okay. I'm on athletics. All right. You guys, uh, you know, grab on and hold on as you realize how uh, inhospitable the air uh, is here. Uh, you all are, are, you know, through winter clothing, the cold bites deep on you. But uh, Lexa is able to guide you guys through the storm a bit. And you are, are just trying to search the topography at this point to uh, to see if you can find the crash site. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, you, uh, whoever has the best perception uh, is welcome to go ahead and roll it. The other two can go ahead and uh, try to aid that individual. Okay, good perception. Let me see. Ten. <laughs> Not me. I have a perception of four. I got ten. I got a twenty-nine on my perception. What's your no, what if I, I Okay, do we all roll and then go from there? Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay, I got a plus four. I am adding a seventeen. I have rolled a seventeen total. Cool. Yeah, what about you, Alex? Five. So I got fifteen. 15. Okay. So, uh, Tim, you said you had a 29? Yeah. Okay. Right, so you got a 31. Uh, they didn't get enough to give you a, a full plus five, but you got the plus two. Um, and uh, you you guys, um, through, uh, you know, Lexa's analysis earlier, trying to figure out general areas, uh, plunging in through the storm and such, you guys are able to, to uh, swing through... Uh, the area, and if it weren't for uh, Ace's, you know, keen eyes, the the power of observation, uh, you Lucky, guys would have probably missed it um, exactly, Alice. Um, but uh, you you he finds um, uh, the pathway of destruction that part of the plane coming down left. The snowfall has been so heavy that it is already covered, um, uh, recovered again by snow. And as you guys close in, you do find um, that you begin to see uh, shapes uh, of, uh, of sections of the plane that are just dripping with snow already. Mistress Mysteria, let's cut back over to you. Sure thing. So um, you, you have your vision. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you come back out. Your, your hands are frozen cold at this point from having plunged them to, to the ground and all. Okay. Um, quickly bring my hands up, start warming them up best I can. And um, I, I go back on comms. Uh, MM to Sentinels. MM to Sentinels. Anyone read me? If have people come up on comms, by all means, you, you unless you're in a different realm or something else is weird is okay, going on, you can assume you're reading them. Great. What's your, what's your uh, 1020? Um, ten twenty. Sorry, Aces. I still don't understand your lingo, but um, I I think I found the source of. Oh, uh, I found the source of um, the disturbance. Uh, there is a something locked here, a a goat demon locked here by shamans of older generations. Uh, to uh, I think that he's get, I think he's getting loose of his bindings. So this is going to be, I, I, I don't know where it is yet, but uh, they gave me quite a show. So we'll see when it comes showtime what we, uh, what we can do about him. Uh, Le Lexa, uh, sorry, LL, do you know anybody, anything about a goat demon, uh, shamanistic ritual, seven-pointed star, uh, Indian from this region. Uh, sorry, Native American. I apologize. I apologize. I, I understand the difference now. Yes, uh, after your last time you told me. Uh, no, no. Native American shaman, seven of them. Uh, Seven-pointed star with a stag offering. And they were chanting, and I, I, I repeat the chant. Uh, in syllables, breaking it up, because I understand the power of words, and I am actively trying to make sure that I don't Cre uh, reiterate it and draw attention. Tim, you were trying to say something. What's that? Go to a thousand young. 
Is that to Alex since he's so young? No. You guys don't know you love craft. No. I I I got the reference. I wasn't saying anything yeah. though. I did too. No. I would should hope so, Brian. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got it. Um, yeah, I'm going to think about it. What do I know? What? Um, you, I think, have like a, a myths, legends, something like that, or perhaps just your your awesome intellect. I have um, expertise in history. Okay, no, no myths or legends. These were thrown together, and I've I looked at like twelve versions of Lexa today. So, as I was trying to put them together, I have expertise history. Myths and um, eidetic memory. I mean, I can understand. What, I could understand literally understand the chant she said. She said, "I know what that was." Well, as long as she says it well. One, I have to say it well, and two, you notice that I am saying it in broken syllables on purpose. That I'm breaking it into syllabic uh, reference. She's got an eidetic memory. She so. can re put the pieces together and work out what you were saying. Go ahead and give me your expertise history. I'm going to give you a plus two bonus with what uh, what MM uh, provided. Okay. Yeah, one thing I will say, in certain languages, if, you, uh, if someone breaks it up into syllables, you, putting it together makes it pretty hard because uh, it, it, it stops working. <laughs> Total of 31 with a natural roll 20. Nice. I gave her really good info, Brandon. <laughs> she knew it right away. <laughs> no, this dice, Brian hates this dice so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there, based on the little bit that she gave you, um, that she's trying to do the chant, um, uh, and you know, you can tell that she's not doing the greatest job at it. She's doing pretty good for a language she doesn't understand, but. Like Alice is saying, it is it's very hard because I could try and do Chinese and it would come out horribly. Um, but uh, with uh, you know this uh, goat demon, seven sh the seven shamans don't really mean that much to you. But the chant definitely seems like it is uh, trying to bind a very powerful uh, uh, creature. Um, you know there there might be more information that she could give you, um, and uh, I'm going to definitely note that 31 down. And allow with a natural twenty. That. Um, <laughs> and uh, but yeah, you, your takeaway here is that 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 was some sort of binding for a uh, a demon creature. Mm -hmm. They're trying to bind a demon. Uh, Very powerful one. I got the sense of that. They put on quite a show, but I'm wondering if you can tell me the the, the demon specifically. Yeah, can I work from what the description of the demon, goat-like demon? I think that's all that she's given you right now. Uh, yeah. we're I need more details. Scarab real quick. And Scarab, what are you doing after that? You wanted to think for a minute. Well, after I was uh, looking at them, after I had found that none of them were coherent enough to speak, I was actually right about to head back okay. to the land of the living. Sure. I'm doing it just around where all the bodies are, so hopefully I'll end up near where that plane is on the other land. Sure, and you you come in um, to this this conversation on your comms as you uh, step through the the portal. Do I see anybody immediately around me? Am I around the wreckage? Am I? Um, you uh you you find some strewn wreckage this is not where the plane went down but it does seem to be where uh you know something happened to it and so parts of it whether it crashed and these continued on broke off or if they dropped from the sky there is also uh nearby uh you know one of those is a you know the the body of a dead uh woman who is already you know well on her way to freezing in the the conditions that you guys mm -hmm. are in I'm immediately sending out swarms in every direction around me to attempt to find the other people, myself riding one of them. And Oncom 
Definitely an act of a malevolent and animalistic entity. Not an accident, but not a real sign of intelligence, I'd say. I don't know. Um, I don't know much about uh, the demons of this area, but animalistic, I certainly saw. As for intelligence, I was unable to gauge. And Scarab's like, what? <laughs> hmm. Um, as she's bringing up demon, do, does anything ring any bells with this demon? What I saw with the freezing, then burning, then freezing? Uh, you are... Uh, what expertises do you have on this subject? I have a couple. I have ancient world occultism. Or I have ancient world and occultism. Uh, go ahead and go with whichever one is better out of, out of those two. They're the exact same, so I'll go occultism. 24. 24. We got the interesting subjects. I also got science. Oh, shut up. Um, the uh, Mistress Mysteria has not provided very many details on... Mm -hmm. What uh, what this creature looked like, or or the other things? Um, uh, Are we grouped ahead. up at this point? You have made no attempt to group that I have heard. Okay, I will I'm try and make it to find the everybody. Group. Yeah, group. I'm. Yeah. I'll try and start making my way towards people. Um, and as you as you're thinking about that, and the attempts to to group up, mm -hmm. uh, that's when um, the gunshot goes off near. Uh, Aces, uh, Lady Liberty, and Kid Justice. So, let's go ahead and everybody roll some initiative for me. Initiative, okay. Um, and um, Scarab does hear the gunshot. She's close enough that that is uh, going off in the same vicinity as her. And I'm immediately turning my swarm that way, but... Uh... Initiative was... Where's the initiative on here? 20. Not it natural. It should be first page upper right, I believe. Right uh, below just, presence. Yes. So offense and, yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, no. and I just 20 wasted, total. And I just okay. wasted a die roll of a 19, so I'm a 25. I got 10. Oh, I wow. 25. I got 25. We have two 25s. I've got a plus 6 in it mod. What is yours? Plus 8. You go first. And like so, what about you? I'm sorry. Twenty two. Twenty jeez. Why what? is a twenty slow? I know, right? I rolled a natural nineteen. I rolled a, I rolled 19 a natural nineteen too. Oh my gosh. I rolled a seventeen. I mean, it's not yeah. unusual for this dice. This dice either loves me yeah. or it hates me. There is no middle yeah. way of path with this dice. I, I can confirm this. It either loves me or it tries to kill me. And the right. total and the body. So, um, I have a, a, a 22 against your... So, uh, your defenses, you'll see dodge and parry are just a single number. Your, def your AC with that number is going to be 10 plus that. So, Lexa, mm -hmm. I have a 22. I am assuming that is going to be a hit. That is going to be a hit, yes. Okay. Um, and... Now, if it was toughness, it might, we might have another issue that would be dead yeah. on. Um, and uh, go ahead, speaking of toughness, at this point, go ahead and roll your toughness. Um, and it is going to be at a DC of 23. I literally need an 11 or higher. Natural one. No, natural 20. <laughs> 23. All right. Oh, no. uh, I'm so, sorry. Um, uh, all I'm of a sudden, the, I'm going to go get my bouncy ball. A, a loud shot rings out. Um, the, uh, you know, bullet flies through the air and uh, smacks into you, Lexa. You, you feel the impact uh, and uh, it... 
uh, breaks through the leather jacket that you're wearing, but, uh, you know, it stops cold as soon as it hits your skin. Um, and you, you feel the slug just kind of drop into the lining of the leather jacket that it just perforated. You Aces, know, you are you up that Can I design that for me personally? How rude. So, Aces, what are you doing? What do I see? Do I see the guy that shot us? You do not. You you heard the sound of the gunshot. You know a general direction that that came from, but you don't see. Like I said, you guys were coming up on these forms of uh, that definitely seem like uh, the the wreckage of the plane. Um, and then all of a sudden, the gunshot rang out. And make a perception to figure out where the shot came from. Sure. I got, I got 19. 19? You've got a, a, a pretty good idea of uh, of where you think that that shot did come from. Um, it is hard to see uh, uh, in the night, and so you're more going off the way that it sounded than anything that you specifically saw. The, the terrain I'm in, is there areas for cover? Uh, it is uh, uh, rocky, snowy, and wood, woody at times, so there's plenty okay, of areas cool. for cover. Head to your direction, but I'm going to be going from tree to tree. Okay. Right. The uh, the rocks and all are mu much more common than the, the trees are, uh, but yes. Okay, whatever. Just going to go from rock to rock until I get to the location, but I'm going to make sure that I'm basically going serpentine, you know, just, you know. Sure. Go ahead and give me an athletics check. Well, I should okay. ask, before you tell me what the result is, are you trying to do this stealthy or quickly? Stealthy. I don't want him to get a shot at me. Then go ahead and make that a stealth check. Reroll? No, keep the die. Oh, that's a little better. That's a 13. That's a 17. Cause three. Okay. <laughs> glad. I'm glad you made it stealth. <laughs> All right. So Aces uh, immediately, uh, you know, as you guys were, were starting to land and such, he, he drops away, tucks in, rolls into the soft snow, and uh, quickly starts to move off, becoming hidden among the, the snow. Um, mm -hmm. Mistress Mysteria, you are not at their location at the moment. Yeah, uh, what alerts me to making an initiative roll, exactly? Nothing yet, let's say. Nobody's okay. alerted you. Lexa. Well, um I'm just continuing to fly towards my party. As I do so at this point, though, you said my hands are really cold. So I'm going to create several rings of fire that I am weaving in and out of and trying to, like, keep my hands within the rings as I'm going in and out of them as, a, as we're moving towards my party, my team. What allows you to make rings of fire, which I'm not asking to be a my dick, but for a reason? Uh, your create. Okay, go ahead and roll your create rank. Sure thing. I rolled a nine. I create it, and it fizzles out from the storm. Got it. Done. Never mind. No, uh, this is uh, this doesn't normally happen. Okay. That uh, normally you can you can manifest. It doesn't really matter the weather. You might not be able to keep things on fire for a long period of time, but a short period of time. I'm not just talking rounds. Yeah, I, I get that. Like thirty seconds well, or something. You'd be able to keep it on. My jumping through. My piggies jumping through. You'd be able to keep it on fire, but these are coming through, and the fire is snuffed before it even really starts. Okay. So, Lady Liberty. Um, and then under fire. Copy. I'm on my uh, way. I'm yeah. trying to find you. And Don't start the show without me. And then I'm going to try to locate the individual who shot me. All right, and how are you doing that? Uh, I'm not on the ground, right? Um, you guys uh, were, I said, were coming towards the ground because you, the Aces yeah. had spotted something that you thought was mm -hmm. so, the, the crash site. So you guys were going to be looking at that. But you, you probably, flying is more natural to you than walking. So... Did Ace give the indication of the direction he saw them, or saw uh, the thing? Uh, you <laughs> saw him. Hit, you know what way the bullet hit you from. Then I'm going to move in that direction. 
Okay. Kid Justice, are you riding with her still, or are you going to uh, basically have uh, been walking at this point? I'll let him choose that. Um, I guess I'll hang on until uh, it's time for me to go, and I'll drop off. Okay. Um. So, uh, you you start to to fly in that direction. Um, mm -hmm. The the shapes uh, of the these dark shapes. Everything is fairly dark here. You guys are probably working with like uh, flashlights and such. Uh, that uh, since your arms were kind of full with the other two, they're probably aiming for you. Alex is not currently there, and I've I'll put the kid on my back so my arms are free. Um, so, uh, you, you start closing in, um, you, you see the, the, uh, shape of a, an individual as you, you fly right up, uh, to, to the, the plane. What do you do? I'm going to grab that individual. Okay. Go ahead and make your attack roll. That is... Unarmed? Yes. That is going to be a twenty-four. Okay. Uh, you you grab onto uh, them, and uh, suddenly, you know, uh, you the the individual begins to scream out. Um, Scarab, you you hear the screaming. It is fairly close to you. In addition to the gunshot, the screaming definitely allows you to get a much better idea of where things might be happening. I also have a, a higher accurate hearing on top of that. So, if I, so as I'm moving towards my body, I'm actually going to break my body down into to becoming part of my horde of hundreds of different little scarabs with them to move faster towards that. As part of the what is it, sand stride? Uh, sand stride is uh, is a teleport. So uh, oh, you basically, kind of it. yeah, you basically the way that it was originally done is uh, the dropping into the ground and then raising up out of the ground elsewhere. I was just kind of, of brief flavoring it this way. Is that okay? Cool. Yeah. yeah, go for it. Go for it. Okay. So As breaking I... breaking apart into a, a body of scarabs and uh, that quickly traverse ground. Is that right? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, go ahead. Um, do you have accurate so, or anything like that? I don't think so on the teleport. Accurate. Go ahead, Al. So for the teleport, uh, it's kind of like you transfer your con you you transfer yourself through this swarm, and so you unform here, and then you reform elsewhere instantaneously. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do not seem to have an That's accuracy. Fine. Go ahead and just itself. roll your teleport rank. Okay, could I add scarab senses to it? Um, I would let you take uh, either, uh, either your awareness um or your teleport rank, whichever one's better, or your your perception. I mean, perception or teleport rank? Yeah. Uh, teleport rank. Oh no, that's teleport two. So perception. Yeah, this one's much more the uh, you know local uh, type at all. Another nineteen, so twenty-four. Okay. Um, and um, go ahead and cover with me what else uh, your your unique senses are. Um, unique senses. Yeah, I because have you have the accurate hearing. I have nocturnal sense. Uh, do, 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 do. Other than that, I'm not seeing any other senses. The rest are individual abilities or, like, immunities and armor. Okay. Cool. Um, let me bring you up because I thought that you had accurate hearing, Scarab survives, Scarab Queen's armor, Nocturnal, Eyes in the Dark. Okay, I guess you don't have it on this one. Like, a, you know, I was throwing together lots of characters um, this morning. It's okay. And, uh, so I'm not certain what everybody has versus, uh, you know, what they might have had previously. Um, you, uh, and a that is accurate hearing is the power that I'm trying to think of. Um, so you mm -hmm. pop up um, very close to uh, to where that uh, the, the screaming and such is coming from. Um, you can tell 
uh, that uh, with a combination of your nocturnal as well as your accurate hearing, that uh, you identify that it's um, Lady Liberty is uh, has grabbed onto uh, a humanoid, um, has has not a cost, you know, punched him or anything yet. Uh, mm -hmm. The you can still hear um, the uh, the the, uh, the 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 gun that uh, that went off is uh, in this individual's hand, so he's the one that shot um, at something, probably them. And uh, there are a number of other people that are are huddled or, or humanoid type creatures that are huddled in the the wreckage of the plane that you are now standing in the middle of. The one that she is grabbing. Mm -hmm. Now that was my movement. So am I yes. still able to do something? Or okay, yeah. I the scarabs that came with me, the horde that I brought with me. I'm going to use them to start instead of having forcing her to grab them to start encasing themselves around this one who's obviously a some kind of danger with prison of ten thousand scarabs. Okay, go ahead and roll that. <laughs> uh, it is an effect. Affliction, so it's yes, so that will be it's, uh, yeah, 18? it's an entangled type effect from other games. So it's so the scarab swarm will the scarab swarm of plus ten is going to be the same thing that you'd roll for that. It looks like, um, and yes, uh, all of a sudden, uh, Lady Liberty, as you're holding on to, you know, you're not really certain what, but it, it looks definitely looks like a person uh, or humanoid mm -hmm. of some sort. Uh, all of a sudden you, you start to see the, the forms of scarabs climbing up and uh, beginning to bind. The, the screaming increases from this uh, as, as these bugs begin to climb all over them. And as I'm doing that, as I am pointing towards them and as I'm moving towards them, I'm looking towards that one, then I just look at the others. Now, do you want to be our enemy? Um. Okay. The, uh, the, the person uh, shoves uh, the gun right at Lady Liberty and is going to go ahead and start pulling the trigger as fast yeah. as they can while screaming. At first degree, they are considered hindered, I will say. I yep. what that does, but... Hindered is a, a movement reduction. And oh. um, a, a similar to you guys, my, my D20 has been liking me because they got a 20. They rolled a 20 on their initiative, natural 20. They are the second to last to go in the initiative order here. But they, they also rolled a 20 to resist that, which is uh, kind of amazing. Um, ah. so, um, I am looking rally? up the grab here, though. Disarm, escape. Grab, there we are. All right, um, you have made the check, um, uh, so yeah, then they roll to resist, but, so they, they are definitely grabbed, and vulnerable. What are his three degrees or two degrees of options? He's got two degrees on that. I'm looking at the, the grab that Lady Liberty's got. Ah, okay. okay. Um, if he just made it, I think he just threw her off. So, no, he's he's not really trying. That was like oh, the, okay. the role that when he started, which I knew his chances of actually winning that, which maybe in the 20 would have been there. Uh, but yes, he is going to go ahead and shoot. He can't even aim of that well, but he just starts pulling the trigger as fast as he can, and uh, bullets fly out, none of them even getting anywhere near uh, Lady Liberty or Kid Justice. Uh, and then the gun stops clicking. Uh, there are no more bullets left in the chamber. The screaming continues. Oh, Kid Justice. Oh, God, I forgot he just almost shot a child. <laughs> <laughs> Kid Justice, what do you got? Yeah, what are you gonna do, man? <laughs> yeah, let's we'll get the powers or something. And, uh, yeah, jump off. I guess, kind of scoot along Labor <laughs> Lady Liberty's body and uh, uh, grab this guy and um, yeah, hold him down. Oh, kind of wrap around him and just be like. You better stop that or you'll be sorry. This is going to be my justice grab. It's a 19. Hey, you definitely grab him. 
Um, so it's an affliction. He's supposed to resist by will, and he will be hindered and immobile. What's the DC? Oh, no. oh D- will DC 20. Will DC 20. Okay, what's the second effect? The oh, second sorry. Tier? It's, uh, so he's immobile, defenseless, and disabled. <laughs> okay. And still screaming, I assume. So, what is the effect of this? You've told him you better behave or else, or something like that. And so, but what what do we see in the comic page? Uh, yeah, basically, I'm just, oh, it's us. No, that's not so. Um, yeah, so basically, I just wrap around him, and then he just kind of, um, yeah, just gets wrapped up, and, uh, doesn't realize he he gets distracted by me and he can't can't do it. So when you say you wrap around him, is this like is this Mr. Fantastic Plastic Man? No, nope, it's just a kid giving a guy a bear hug. <laughs> and you're getting scarabs crawling all over you too. Yes. <laughs> already have You've actually some. squashed a few and I'm kind of offended by it. Everybody wants to grab this guy. All right, uh, back to the top. Aces, um, you you see what is going on. You uh, The guy has obviously emptied his clip. All right. I, well, I just calmly walk over to this guy. Shut the hell up. Stop, stop screaming. Uh, let, it, LL, let, let him go, okay? I got a gun friend on him. He's not going to try to do it. So aces with uh, you got your flashlights on your guns, basically. Yeah. All right. So as as light shines onto him, the, this uh, guy is in a, a torn flannel, uh, ripped up uh, khaki pants. Uh, he he's got a coat uh, on over that, but it looks like the coat is too small for him. Um, looks like he's recently shaved and. Uh, you know, he, he is uh, getting covered in scarabs, has a kid bear hugging him, and uh, Lady Liberty has lifted him up off the ground. So, okay, I'm going to put you down. Oh, it's not my turn. Sorry. Yes, yeah, I believe it's my action at this point. I'm arriving. Yeah. Yeah. I can't quite put him down yet. Aces, isn't it? So. Okay. Well, it's still Aces? Yeah. If Aces wants to do anything else, you're welcome to. Um. Okay, guys. Everybody just... Chill out. He looks scared. Look at him. Does he look dangerous to you? I'm sure he's got a gun, but you can pretty much all... You destroyed my line! (laughs) Aw! I was like, I I was gonna say, you gotta learn to read your audience. Well, you're on the... uh, Still flying over there. (laughs) Alright, let him go. Get him him calm down. Maybe he knows what's going on here. Just... Relax. (laughs) Is he what's the look on his face? Does he look terrified or yes, delirious? absolutely terrified. He uh, he's definitely uh, been uh, you know has some dried blood on on the clothes that he's wearing. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And but looks absolutely scared. Um, and uh, is in a bear hug with uh, bugs crawling all over him. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Ask these people to calm, to stop attacking them, and I'll take his gun from him. Yeah, okay. that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll disarm him. You walk up I'll and you you easily yank the gun. I'll clear, I will. Clear, I'll take. A, I'll check the clip, check the chamber, make sure it's completely unloaded. Yep, all of it's uh, all of it's empty. Okay. What is it, by the way? What kind of gun? Um. Yeah, I do not know guns all that well, uh, but uh, you know it's a, a semi-automatic, uh, not not a huge one. And then, so all right, um, Lexa, uh, Aces walks up, uh, trying to say everybody stand down, and grabs the gun out of the guy's hand. Seriously, he continues me? to scream. Yes, basically, unless you've got something big to do to get here. Yeah, I do. Smoke hits my floor, and I disappear from this spot. I do have accurate for D-Door. Okay. I have a D-Door to get to them. 
So okay. I do the, you know, some magicians pop off the stage, poof, a little smoke bomb goes off. I disappear from my location. I reappear with a puff of smoke in front of me. All right. I just need uh, to be alerted to something going on. Gotcha. So, yes, uh, Mistress Mysteria uh, comes out of a, a puff of snow nearby. Um, the... yeah, Mistress, did I miss the show? Can you get this Could kind of stuff sooner? Any kind of powers or something that will calm something down? Powers? You don't need powers. You just need to learn how to read your audience. Now, he's clearly scared. So, um... Why don't we have a nice conversation? Uh, Brandon, I am now going to, I am going to calm them down, not with powers, but with skills. Uh, I have an expertise in performance, and I am going to basically start doing a hypnotic performance of doing a, you know, little scarf dance, little, uh, basically close magic eye tricks, hand tricks, and I'm going to just start mezzing him and calming him down. I'd like to point out that I do have days, uh, the ability to daze with this. And I do have the ability to, uh, so I have a uh, day's deception advantage. So you just use portals to passageways? Uh, I use my D door, which is a uh, Deidre's, uh, hold on. Uh, it's my sub from, uh, it's my alternate effect yep. from Deidre's flight. So yeah. Uh, so that's no, only not, 250 feet. Not, port not portals to passageways, the dimensional door. So you weren't within 250 feet of them. Okay, sure. So I would use the portals of passageways then, which means okay. that I can't start acting until next round. You've used all of your actions. Yep. That was, yeah. Um, and Lexa, the the light shines on him. You see this individual has been, uh, you know, his clothes are bloody. He's uh, he's mm. screaming in terror. Bugs are crawling into his mouth, up his nose. There's a kid holding on to him. And oh, portals to passageways would mean I show up not with uh, this puff of smoke, then with the uh, with the circus tent. Circus tent, yes. Okay, Skyro, call back your insects. Grabbing Kid Justice, putting him to the side. No, thank you. And. Then I'm just going to put him down. Are you the survivors from the plane crash? Uh, all of a sudden, a chorus of "Yes, yes, oh God, yes!" We're, we, you know, come starts coming out from uh, where Scarabs uh, saw a bunch of others uh, huddled within. Okay, we're not here to hurt you. I get, I'm guessing that the use of the weapon was to defend yourselves. Uh, they, uh, everybody starts talking in a, in a rush where by all means you guys each one at a time. escalated. So one at a uh, time, starting with you. Picking the guy that was shooting or somebody else just randomly. The, I think the one who was shooting seems to be a little bit too shaken. So I will pick somebody else. I've put him down. I've moved him over there, put him down so he's away from the scarabs. I can't do much about the ones on him, but the I can't move him out of there. Yeah, the scarabs, I, she pulled them off, it sounded like. Okay. I put him down and then point to somebody who seems coherent. Okay. Starting uh, with you. Yes, yes, we're the survivors. We were, we were flying to New York, but the storm, oh my God, it was horrible. And then the engine started going out and we... We crashed. And, oh my God! Are you are you going to be able to get us out of here? We'll do our best. At this point, like um, at this point, while people are talking, while Lex is talking to them, I'm going to start basically uh, taking my time to calm the most uh, distraught of them, the ones that have been screaming, the ones that, you know, are terrified, I'm just going to start calming them because uh, the the condition they're in is not going to help our situation or them. Sure. You guys, um, Mistress Mysteria is calming them. Aces, your your gun, um, or your, your light that you're, you're using off of your, your gun, um, you quickly see blood in the snow. 
Um, okay. And and not you know like somebody who would have walked away from that blood splotch, but it's there, and that you don't see a, a body there either. Uh, what is everybody else doing? Lexa seems to be talking to them. Mistress Mysterio is trying to calm some of them. I'm going to start offering the blankets the I brought. Okay. Offering blankets. What was that, Tim? I'm trying to follow the blood. Okay. And what about you, Scarab? I am... I give a bit of a glare towards her, the one who just took my scarabs off of him. And then have a bunch more just kind of encircling the area. On a kind of patrol to be seen. And I'm going to move towards one of these survivors. One that... Eliza, and I'm just... One that looks fairly coherent. If any of them. There are there are definitely some that are more coherent than others. Yeah. There is an animal on board, correct? Something for... A, something that would have mauled people. If you're looking for coherent, I've been trying to get Brandon's attention for a little bit. I see this, Alice. Okay, because my calming should be able... I can transfer up to two people. Well, all, all five of these actions are occurring at the same time. Okay, just mm -hmm. wanted you to be aware of that. Yeah. Alright. Um, so, uh, we'll go ahead and go with Scarab and uh, the the individual. And Alice, I, lo I love the, the thought on setup. And Alex, I was going to give you bonuses, the bonuses basically because of blankets. Uh, but the fact that you've got setup works really well um and uh the i i i don't i don't think so B bigfoot came later bigfoot what Big, bigfoot after we crashed that's the first thing that, that came for us we we'd been here I, I don't know i don't really know how long 15 20 minutes or something and and then all of a sudden uh a, a form came came out of the darkness. It was big and it was it was just hairy all over, <laughs> st snarling. But I, I don't think so it was like, on the plane. I I don't know though. What it was on the plane? Why would they bring that with them on a plane? It wasn't on the plane. Beings like this operate without consent of the operators of the planes. I'll just move off, and I'm going to start looking for some traits of possibly kind of energies that could have uh, been used to teleport or been used to basically any signs of a supernatural being in the immediate vicinity and maybe a trail like it. Sure. Uh, you you start looking around and become aware of of Aces who is uh, checking out uh, some blood that is in the in the snow and uh, trying to follow that. So we're gonna jump over to Aces. We'll come back over because Lexa I know is t was gonna talk. Could just as pass some blankets, Mistress Mysteria, uh, calm them down. I'm assuming that you have like a, a fascinate um, with your performance house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. We have. That's the way that you were days, talking. Yeah. yeah. We bought the days advantage for them. Cool. And I have right. to fascinate expertise, performance, use that interaction skill to entrance others. Yeah. Um, I have fascinate on my persuasion. Alex being persuasive. You should listen to us, blanket. You should listen to us, blanket. <laughs> um, Freeze to death or listen to us, blanket. <laughs> And uh, they're they're looking at the fact that a six year old is uh, you know here bundled up and uh, passing out blankets. All right, uh, so aces, you go over uh, to to the the blood, um, and it is obvious that uh, that something attacked people here. Um, the the amount of blood expresses a a very large amount of trauma that would have occurred from the assault. 
what are you doing with that? I know you said you were you were, wanted to track it, but go ahead and run me down what you want to do. Well, I'll do investigation. Try to get uh, try to get a crime scene in my mind, mm -hmm. like from where the blood is and what I could from the surrounding area, see where the killer came from and everything. Sure. Go investigation. Uh, yep, you can go ahead and roll your investigation. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. You um, you know, start start to to look around and uh, and check the the area. Um, it uh you you are checking um the the blood it definitely uh, is, if this was an animal attack there would not be this amount of blood here when there were so many there's a crash site there's all sorts of people that are huddled if an animal did attack somebody here they would have grabbed that body and left you know break its neck something like that but it looks kind of like a lot of blood left a body here. Um, and so you're not quite certain what did this to, um, to you know, whoever was there. The, um, they, the body, you can definitely make out where the, the attack came from and uh, where they, they ended up heading off to um, was mostly returning back the way that they had come. Um, the, the footprints definitely do not seem like that of a man, but instead look more like they, they are, are four-legged. Okay. The paw prints? Um, the, the snow has covered up a lot of it, but, uh, you, you getting the, the, there's the the drag trail, and then there's also uh, two sets basically, uh, basically a, a set here, and then a set further out of of lines that move in the snow. Um, not always, you know, mm -hmm. just pulling along, but lift up and go down. But you can't make out the specific paw prints. The the storm continues to move on unabated. Um, the the snow just beating down onto you guys. Um, why doesn't everybody go ahead and give me a fortitude save here as you guys are, are just dealing with this inclement weather? Scarab Queen, I don't think you care. I, I believe that you have Scarab Survive, which would make you totally immune to this. Yep. Uh, heat and cold. Yep. Yes. You don't care one bit about the cold. Yep. I have my little, my Scarab heat shield, as I described earlier. <laughs> Another natural 20 from, from Germany. I got a modified 20 with a 13 okay. on it. Sorry. <laughs> uh -oh. 32. Yeah, one. All right, one. I come down with a case of my mom. Um, I, uh, it's fortitude, I got a 10. A 10. Okay. Aces, uh, you you are definitely uh, beginning to to slow down in this as uh, as the cold leeches into your your bones. You are going to be acting hindered, which is basically going to cut your movement in half. Alex, what is uh, your modified natural one? I do have great endurance. That seems to apply. Yes, that would by all means uh, apply. Aces, if you have great endurance, go ahead and add that as well. So it would be a fourteen. A fourteen. Oh, okay. You are you are similarly going to be acting hindered. So your okay. movement would be down by one. Aces, did you have great fortitude? Great endurance? One of those two? It's uh in the advantages on the second yes, page. I do. Okay. I have great endurance. Don't worry about it. Uh you you have a, a fifteen and you are okay. Okay. Uh, Alice, that is with uh, the gear. I assume that each one of you is bundled up to some degree oh, yeah, against the weather, other than maybe Scarab Queen, who just does not seem to give a Scarab's behind about it. Hmm. She is still in her semi-diaphanous uh, Egyptian priestess robe. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, Lexa, you are the last one uh, to take uh, basically an action as you guys get here. Scarab Queen did get some information by all means you can be aware of uh what she has heard did you have questions or anything that you wanted to suss out with them um i 
Brain. Oh, brain blank. Oh, brain dead. I'm going to look at them and I'm going to actually no. While the others are questioning them and calming them down and I've got them talking, I can, I'll leave that to the other two. I want to have a look at the plane and the state it's in and see if we, if we can build a better shelter for them. Okay. Until we can work this out, we need to get them out of this cold. Um, they they have done what they what they can. The the plane is in um, three sections here, uh, three mm -hmm. major sections uh, of uh, the the cabin. Uh, there is uh, a fourth section that uh, did landed somewhere else. It seems, um, which would be uh, a tail section of the plane. Um, they they have taken and uh, broken the chairs apart and such to try and create a windbreak with it, but uh, they they only have limited supplies. Uh, they've ripped up some of the carpet and such to try and keep it keep their air from blowing in cold on them and such. Your their ability to get this stuff to stay is pretty limited. Your strength uh, can easily impact stuff into the the side of the the cabin and uh which uh you know you might as well be riveted in at that point okay i'm going to stabilize that and then i'm going to go over and rip open rip open one of the other parts so rip off a section and build a sort of windbreak around the open part Let's and if possible i want to get into the <coughs> under part of the plane if it is present where the luggage is and where they store food and such things so that okay. they have more resources because we still yeah. got to go deal with it we do unfortunately have to deal with steam and thing Lexa, you're, if it hasn't been banned you're if we're aware of each other's abilities you are aware that i can literally manipulate uh, matter and I can move uh, animate objects as big as six tons. So I can literally reshape things um, to some degree. If I will. Needed. I as well. Um, MM, can you take this piece here, reshape it, and create a better shelter for them while I go and investigate over here? There should be luggage. There should be a luggage area on this part, and I want to see if I can get into it, get to the food and such things for them. Absolutely idea so uh brandon i'm going to start uh uh it, it i do 125 oh. cubic feet and i'm going to okay. uh interact my uh, i i'm going to ask them uh please move over to that side i don't want to hit anyone and i'm going to uh my this time it's off my uh off my corset because this is big lifting work so off my corset it comes and it's going to start reshaping and basically where there were holes the holes um you know come together and the metal just basically reforges in front of their eyes okay you know tap tap the stage is no place for the audience exactly please step back please step back stage is uh, yes, you're you're able to uh, easily uh, to to reform things and uh, and improve their their shelter a lot. Um, Lexa, uh, actually, still going since you're still interacting with them, Mistress Mysteria. Um, you know the 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 people are are still calling out, still talking a lot about everything that uh, went on with them, and uh, they're like the. It was like, it was like the storm wanted in into the plane. It just, it just tore in, time after time, uh, that we were being buffeted about. And when it finally, when the the the, uh, it finally broke uh, in, uh, it just ravaged through and everything that wasn't strapped down started just getting ripped through the cabin. It was. It was insane. Chairs were bolted, and they just were torn out. Um, as I'm working this metal, do I feel any residual magic on it? Then, no, okay. you you don't really find residual magic here. Okay. Um. And I believe they... Scarab wanted to ask you something. So, go ahead, mm -hmm. Scarab. Scarab looks clueless. 
I did not want to ask you something. I'm still investigating my thing. That's what I thought. Um, um. Lexa, you you go down into the the cabin, and the 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 cords, the the straps that you use to uh, secure things and all, um, ha- just got decimated down here. Uh, there is still some luggage, some supplies, but most of it got ripped apart when the plane came apart and, uh, you know, got blown out of the, the underbelly. Okay, well, whatever I can recover, I will take over there because um, I, M.M., I found some clothing here. If you could make some warm jackets and such out of it, it'd uh, be good. Oh, uh, looking at the, their clothes. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, I don't, I just start refashioning it. I even start refashioning some stuff with the, with the cushions and such. You said that uh, fire's just getting snuffed out when I create it, right? I'm going to try again, though. Oh, you're going to try again, like, inside? I'm going to create a trash can fire. So I'm going to basically create, you know, a gra- create a drum, a uh, metal drum, and I'm going to create a trash can fire inside it. So it's contained fire to try okay. and create some warmth. Is it inside of the plane? Or? No, I would basically have it at the opening of the plane, so therefore oh, it has ventilation now. Whoa, 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 whoa. This plane crashed. Brandon. Is there any gasoline anywhere? In the oh, uh, jet jet fuel. Yeah. Um, there there is uh, definitely some. Um, it has gotten uh, snowed over though, primarily. Okay, just want to make sure. I want a fire, but I don't want like a mm-hmm. fire. <laughs> Now you're warm, right? Come on. Yeah, right, which is why I'm also trying to say I'm making a trash can fire. fire. Man. You keep him warm for a day. Set him on fire, you keep him warm, warm for the rest of his life. That's right. Which is why I'm also stating that I'm making a drum with, uh, you know, a metal drum to uh, okay, contain I'm this sorry. fire. Yeah, no problem. You know, you. I, I, it's a good point, but I, well, I was already thinking about, you know, containment. So metal drum okay. fires are no- notoriously safe as long as people don't knock it over. Um, All right, so the you're talking about doing it in the entryway. Well, there, you guys were covering the entryway up, so that way, you know, the the air isn't uh, blowing in. No, no, I wanted to do a bent sort of thing so that people could still go in and out. But oh, okay. So we can easily just adjust that that it's She's doing open the area, shield. so they can put yeah. the so they've got a sheltered area and open area with the fire, but sort of yeah. I mean, I could go into great detail on how to make a shelter safe yeah. that you can have a fire in it, and <laughs> but yeah. I don't think we want that. No, you. Am you, I near them and hearing all of this conversation? You're definitely about? hearing this. You guys. You are, know that uh, I can just take them through the land of the dead, and they'll be back in a city in a few minutes, right? And last time you did that, I think we ended up with 16 lawsuits that Mindy is still handling over trauma. Um. <laughs> If, People notoriously do not like walking through the land of the dead. It's one thing. I don't care. I'm, heroes, I'm but here, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, hmm. 24 is my uh, check this time on making the fire. Um, it, it comes up, but it is, uh, it is not doing well. Okay. It is uh, far smaller um, of a blaze than what you, you had intended. Um, I'm going to get away and, uh, you know, get away from, I'm already away from the people, you know, like I, like was said, the stage is no, you know, backstage is no place for the audience. Must stay away to, you know, so you don't see the tricks uh, and all. But um, while I'm away from people, I am going to get on comms and say, um, uh, team, I do need to see all of you soon. And I believe that whatever attacked here, the, I believe that the demon is loose. My magic is being absorbed. Anything that I have... My Mm. magic is being absorbed by this demon. Has the magic actually had an effect on me because of where my powers... Uh, So far, you have not uh, been, uh, you know, had had problems, but you have not been assaulted by anything magic. 
Okay. So uh, I'm going to try and hurry to finish the shelter, and we need to regroup. I ha I yeah, that's why I was trying to focus on that. Well, and LL, I can yeah, give you more information. I just need to meet with all of you so I can provide the information. Yeah. Once we've done that, we're going to, well, move off and um, discuss things. Alex, uh, as you're you're passing out blankets and such, um, you know, there's there's all sorts of people. This was a, you know, a very large pass passenger plane that was uh, full for the Thanksgiving holiday in transit. Um, and uh, you, you know, are going through unloading the the backpack upon backpack that you got loaded up with uh, different supplies and such. Um, and, yeah. Where's the cockpit? Uh, the cockpit is one of the three sections that is here. So continuing with Alex, um, uh, you you come across, uh, you know, as you're passing the blankets out, uh, a, a young girl, probably pretty similar in your age, that uh, that is, is, you know, just absolutely sobbing and, uh, you know, just totally distraught. The, uh, she is being held by, by a woman and uh, as as you you know come uh up the uh the the woman um looks at you thanks you and Here you know you go. here's a blankie th thank you so much um she she wraps it around the the young girl and um she 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 looks at at her and uh and looks at you and it's like how how is it that you're you're doing this i mean you can't be much older than her Mm, well, anyone can help, no matter how big or small. Are you her mommy? The the girl starts crying louder, and the woman shakes her head with a, a sad look on her face. No, her mom was in one of the seats that got blown out. And her father That's not went... Right. Her father, when when the big the big feet came, he was one of the ones that was taken. That's definitely not right. We're gonna have to bring him back. Are are we gonna be okay? Yeah, all my friends are here. We'll make sure you're okay. And we'll get justice for what happened. She she seems uh, a little comforted by your your naturally persuasive demeanor. And uh, the girl, the the young girl, continues to to sob uncontrollably. She you know wraps the blanket around her and you know tries to to comfort her and such. And is there any like? Uh part of the crew that's around there are there are crew members um the uh one of the the flight crew uh is, is still here um the uh there's uh, uh two stewardesses as well i'm gonna give my uh bags full of blankets to them here finish passing these out i gotta go find somebody I'm go running back off to uh to my team. okay so scarab mm -hmm. can you send some of your um friends out to scan the area in case some of those who were sucked out who were drawn out of the plane survived? when i first got over here i was i already started sending them okay. around by the way have any of those gotten back to me when i sent them in every direction Right, yeah, so sure. Um, you know, they they start to to find um, bodies and are able to uh, begin dragging, you know, bodies back. Where do you direct them to drop the bodies off? I'm not directing them to. I'm not asking for bodies. I just want confirmation that okay, there's a dead one here, dead one here. Okay. Yeah. They they're able to find uh, uh, dead ones and. Um, Based on um, where they're finding them, you think this might be the same ones that you were finding 
uh, scattered mm-hmm. about in the, the land of the dead. Any of me a trail with how the bodies are laid out? Um, the bodies seem to be in the direction that the plane passed before it landed. And so they are similarly finding, you know, some of the seats or, you know, the, the other stuff, the luggage and all that flew out of the plane when it came down. But the bodies themselves are in one clear direction. Uh, they are the, the are way the that the plane was flying from, yes. Okay, so. I think I have a direction for... At least where one of the mauled ones was. So, if you guys are intending to group back up, you go right ahead and do it. Okay. I'll say there is a team, bit of team. Someone's dad got taken. Before, you better go find them. I will say before she groups up, there's a strange bit of like hesitation. And a look off in the distance and shaking her head that probably nobody's ever seen from her before. What's up, Tim? Uh, I want to go out to the cockpit and check and see if the radio's working. Um, the <clears throat> the uh, radio is not getting any any power. Um, there is uh, somebody up there that is uh, has been trying to fix it. Basically trying to get power to it so that they can try and get a, a signal out and such. Okay. Okay. And then Alex runs up, team, team, somebody's dad's been taken. We've got to go find them and help them. They're dead. Um, I, then we uh, need to get justice for whoever did that. Where'd you get cookies, Kid Justice? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't intend on leaving a demon out here. The demon's nature is a fire, and I, um, well, I will at that point uh, pull my hat off my head, and um, I look like basically uh, I a whip appears in my other hand, and then I start whipping at the snow, and um, and my whip goes back and forth, and it's like I'm sculpting out of the snow, and an image of a creature <coughs> with goat legs, um, but the upper body uh, looks humanoid, uh, appears. Uh, it does not look to be four-legged, right, Brandon, you were saying? No, this okay, is uh, two-legged. Sure. You're basically making an ice sculpture. I'm basically, yeah, creating an ice sculpture out of this as the snow comes starts come piling up, piling up, and I and my whip just back and forth, and I basically look like you know the lion tamer in uh, in the circus as I sculpt uh, this demon, and then I just and then I start to sculpt um, the scene around it where the um, where the seven shamans sat, but I'm not going to create the full shamans. I'm going to just create blocks um, uh, of icicles there and um this this creature was pulled into a pit of fire i believe that he has domain over fire all my attempts to use fire in this area is diminished in a magical fashion due to the weather one of the souls mentioned a freezing cold right before a burning heat before right before a freezing cold so I think this might be a little bit more than just fire. Perhaps this entire storm, even. I sense no magic in the, um, within the storm itself, or the plane itself, but I have sensed a great deal of uh, profane magic in the vicinity, as I mentioned when I first arrived. Hmm. And I was able to see the ritual which the shamans utilized to contain the creature. But from all accounts, what I saw does not match the creature that attacked the passengers. That is what is confusing me. They described a... Something was four-legged Bigfoot. and hairy. Bigfoot. Um, Brendan, saying this ice... Uh, Alice, oh. no, they never described as four-legged. Oh, sorry. No, Ace's, Ace's, uh, he said he related to us that there's four legs. So... 
Ace, and also as you were, as you moved around, you did find that there was more than one thing that came. And, uh, did find uh, you did find that there was more than one drag trail away, but they all went the same way. Okay, well, if he tells us that, then I think it's just the minions of the creature. Uh, sorry, Tim. Some you... took some bodies and put them, and then took them away somewhere. They're all going the same direction. I get the team. Tell them what's going on. What's interesting to me is they left the bodies. These would have been the didn't minions. take them with them all the way. My minions came back and there were quite a few bodies just strewn about left. Depends. A ritual could this just is... use the life, just need the life force to power them and therefore once they're dead, the bodies are no longer needed. I don't think you need to tell me that of all people. Do I recognize the creature that She's actually done a nice sculpture of. Yes, now that she she has much more detail on, um, you you do recognize um, the the creature with your previous role going the wrong way in my, my notebook. Um, <clears throat> Alexa, anyone? this looks like a uh, looks like a, a Native American um, myths that there were of a Native American demon, um, uh, Dzavit. Um, he Does was, happen? yeah, he was, um, uh, associated, uh, with, uh, cannibalism and Vulcanism and, uh, he, you know, supposedly the, the stories that you have read was a, a very powerful, uh, creature of the supernatural that terrorized, uh, the, the Native Americans, uh, in the, the, uh, traditionally in the Southwestern United States, um, but, uh, that, you know, he, he continued basically expanding his, his empire, uh, or his demonic dominion, um, throughout all, all of the, the states or what would be this come the states. Mm -hmm. So I will actually give that over to everybody. These are vets. Uh, do you In actually say, of... do you actually uh, both actually say the actual name? Yeah, I, I spell it out. D-Z-O-A-V-I-T-S. Okay. I just you... repeated what she said. So you would say the letters? You would not say the word? Spelling no, I'm big enough I will say to the full word. Going You'll on. say the full word? Uh, yes. Brandon, uh, I immediately start casting uh, wards on myself, basically. You guys just basically see me start to ward myself. You may not fear the dead, but the rest of us do. And if you don't want us all dead, I recommend you not speak the names of creatures like that unless you intend to be eaten by it. Do you intend on leaving it out in this forest? I have no intention to do so. Or do you intend but, on facing it? But speaking their name gives them power. Guys, I do not wish to guys, face it by guys, giving it more power. Guys. Fighting among ourselves is not going to breed it. I was that's not... why, and Scarab, that's why we created the shelter for the people so we can confront the creature. Yes, Lexa, I was I not arguing. I was explaining and educating something that I, because... Well, your tone's very argumentative. I love you. I am trying to ensure now... that we do not empower this creature before facing it. She does have a point, however. I do I realize actually... this. Scarab, stop being such a snooty bitch. All right, listen. I can leave right now. Listen, I can listen, leave listen, into the land of the dead and never I come back. I didn't want you... stuff. Listen! Hmm? Sorry? We're not getting anywhere squabbling like this. We know. I know what direction they went. Let's track them. Let's try to let's try not speaking magic words and casting thousands of spells and trying to do. Let's try to the old dependable way. Let's try to use our brains instead of just getting, instead of summoning things from everywhere and and doing all this insane stuff. Okay. 
<laughs> you know, sometimes a simple way works. We know what direction they're they're going. Let's go. Let's go meet them where they're supposed to be, away from these people. So if we do get into combat, it's us getting hurt, not them. We got them secured. We got them in a warm place. How far? Until we can get this thing done with and get some people care of. How far have you tracked as, this? As uh, as you guys are, you know, Aces is calling for order as well. But just as that's going off, the screaming starts again. You guys are outside of the shelter. You guys moved away from, you know, there. Um, yeah, I'm guys... Oh, no. I didn't say that I had patrolling. I said that at the very beginning. I never stopped that. Mm hmm. So then we'll, we'll actually go ahead and give me uh, your perception check. Perception check? Yeah. Fifteen. I didn't think of that. Fifteen. Okay. Um, then, um, Scarab, as this is going on, and you've got the, the Scarabs, uh, patrolling the, the very local area, um, they start warning you of, uh, of these creatures that are, are moving in the darkness. Um, you, you know, pull your, your senses, uh, switch to them to the, the Scarabs that you have out, and yeah, you can see these, these creatures, uh, these hunched creatures, with shaggy fur, over long claws, uh, some teeth in their, you know, sharpened teeth in their mouth. But their eyes are these lo over large eyes that, uh, that, you know, have full pupils throughout to pull in as much light as they can. It looks kind of like uh, a bat-faced uh, shaggy man. Um, and they they are, are moving towards... The, the shelter that you guys have built with a uh, this loping stride kind of hunched over with their arms uh, aimed in, not bent like mine, but I'm trying to show the arms mm -hmm. aimed in instead of held out. We have company. How many are there? Uh, Scarab becomes aware of five of them closing in. Um, all you guys know is we have company, is what Scarab says. Uh, she comes back to her. Five creatures. And since five creatures. Hmm? You guys can go ahead and roll initiatives. Sure thing. 17. 21. Look, there it is. <laughs> Not a 20 this time. Lady Liberty? I got 23. And I got an 8. I rolled a 2, so I got an 8. 17. Oh, okay. 17 for Lady Liberty. Mm -hmm. uh, Scarab Lady Liberty, compare. I have a 1. 3. Okay. All right. Um, we'll... Scarab uh, says, you know, we have company. Um... And uh, Aces, you are the, the first to react, Scarab. I'm assuming you're providing some sort of direction. Yeah, I was speaking before the initiative happened, but that kind of got cut off, so. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought that was a great. We have company. Yeah. Let's go to initiative. Um, okay. So, just to clarify, this screaming has not started because, yes, Scarab did have stuff out that could, uh, could notice it. So. And uh, so she she is pointing the the direction. Aces, what are you up to? I run in there to see the monsters. You ru uh, run in the direction. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead, and give me your perception check. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. You you head off that way uh, and uh, you know start start moving and uh, in your your lights as you're you're running and your your flashlights are bouncing up and down. You don't see anything at first uh, as you head off into the snow. The swirls of uh, of you know snow coming down, falling about you, obscuring a lot of your vision, and then you start to see it. These over large red eyes that glow back at you in the light of your flashlight. The They're creature headed towards is the plane. Huh? They're headed yes. towards the plane. Heading towards the plane. Put out my gun. I pull out both my guns. Point at him. Excuse me. 
TSA, I'm gonna need a boarding pass before you get on this plane. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll give the hero point for it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, the, the creature continues moving forward, uh, un unfazed by you, uh, though, though it does reorient it towards you at the moment. Do you do anything else, Aces? Uh, can I shoot? Sure. Okay, um, hell of bullets. Okay. damage. Seven. What I roll? So, is Hail of Bullets is the area effect, or is that the multi-attack? Sorry. Uh, it's the cone area damage. Okay. So, on an area effect, you don't roll anything. It's basically a fireball going off. They have to roll. So, what is the, the effect rank? DC 22? Yeah. Okay. So, they are going to roll here. Own area. No, that one's DC. Why is that only saying 17? Oh, DC 22, DC 17. There. Okay. All right. Uh, so, when an area effect goes off, first you get a attempt to dodge. Um, you know, basically, your reflex save. Um, and that is the DC 17 that you see there. Um, and the, the DC 22 is uh, that if they don't make it, that's what they have to make a toughness check okay. against. Um, if they do, they only have to do part of that. Um, the uh, Aces uh, goes up, calls that out, The and then suddenly you guys just hear both of his guns just going off in, in a flurry. Aces, you see uh, the, the bodies of three of these things hit the snow. Okay. Mistress? No, that's the other initiative. Kid Justice? I'll run off in the direction. Uh, that Show them what you got, kids. Is... <laughs> All right. Oh, snowball. So, Kid Justice, you you run forward, and you can see these uh, these uh, creatures that are are hitting the ground as you are are running forward as uh, just a bunch of bullets fly out. Aces clicks out the, the clips from his guns and quickly loads in two more clips. Uh, ammo is not a thing that you have to worry about, Tim. Um, and uh, I'm assuming you're carrying a flashlight still? Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, go ahead and make your perception check. 14. 14. Uh, you don't see any any further ones of these creatures that are moving. Do you have any extraordinary senses, Kid Justice? Uh, no, just rapid vision. Rapid vision, okay. Um, I'll give you a bonus on that. Because of rapid vision, you're able to pull in a lot of information all, all at once. And uh, so while you don't see any, you can you can tell um, based on the way that things that, uh, you know, some of the branches are moving and such, that there would be another one that's just out of your line of sight nearby aces. And so you you have you run pretty quick. We're not talking, uh, you know, Lady Liberty speed, uh, but uh, still faster than a human. You're almost cheetah speed. So you uh, could uh, go ahead and continue on towards that uh, using your light source. Sure. Uh, okay. You you run ahead. up and uh, and uh, your your light falls on another four of these creatures that are are moving forward. Uh, that same um, bent uh, sl you know sloping walk that they they are taking, moving uh, towards the the plane. Their joints seem to be in places unnatural for what bipedal organisms should have. Do I still have an action? Or... Yes, you do. And I scold them. Shame on you for trying to come out here and pick on these poor people out here. Get out of here. <laughs> shoo, shoo. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> so that is um, that's ranged. You got a seventeen to hit. Yes. Okay. Uh, you're not certain if they understand you or if they care, but they continue on the way. One of them uh, turns towards you and says something in, in a in a strange language. And we're going to get back to that in just a moment. Lady Liberty. Um, I'm going to see if I can see any of these creatures. You, now, you can easily fly over to where Aces and Kid Justice are flash lights. And, uh, they mm -hmm. are shining onto some of the creatures in the snow. A lot of the light comes back from the flashlights because of how thick the snow is. So they aren't the greatest. Okay. I'm going to go over to... Not the one that Kid Justice is going to. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. It's it's Bam Bam time. As you as you are flying over, and you know it's a six second round, or as I like to think mm -hmm. of it, as you know your comic panels and such. And Kid Justice has has run over there, and one of them is is saying something. Um, you understand things spoken in a language that is uh, does not originate on this planet okay. um you you do not have a name for the language but it it makes every being of your essence crawl and uh and so you as you you are flying over and uh, the the general idea you normally have a lot of finesse with any language that you you do here but this one uh you're not certain if the language itself is very rudimentary or if uh, if your comp ability to comprehend it is inhibited in some fashion, but uh, the the creature uh, basically uh, has claimed the 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 little one that it will return with that. Okay. So, mm -hmm. gonna fly up and punch one out. Yeah, I am. As I said, bam, bam, time. I'm sorry, I still like that action. So, that is going to be a 26. Okay. okay. That is definitely a hit. So, what is the DC that I'm saving against? Um, how do I calculate that? So, it should be. Uh, your strength is a 12, so I think that somewhere in that there, it should say DC 27. Uh, I have your strength number correct? Yeah, DC 27, yes. Awesome. All right, you, uh, you uh, fly up to, to one, uh, let off a, a good sock. The, the creature crumples and flies back into a, a tree. Um, the end of the tree, snow piles down on top of it, and no, the snow does not continue to move. So, um, after Lady Liberty, Scarab Queen. Okay. Um, I, I am, uh, breaking down into my, into the insects again and coming out where I saw them as they merge in. I'm also going to have a, a wave of them come out towards one of them and swarm on directly onto it onto okay. there's only one left correct after that punch um there they could justice already illuminated uh about five more so your scarabs did not oh. see all of them okay um and i can only target one creature with the scarab swarm can i yes okay well, i'm turning it to one of them uh 22 Okay, that is a hit. The DC is 25. Okay, another one um, uh, goes down as the, the scarabs swarm up around it. Mistress Mysteria. It's like this wave that comes out and just devours it as it's going. Okay, um, I will... One of the... Uh... Oh, the, the creature that I had created, I jump up into the air, and the creature animates, and then gets on all fours, and uh, 
jumps underneath me and then we fly up into the air together and I fly towards where uh, I, I'm going to try and find one and uh, I'm going to throw stuff at it shortly, but I need to try and find one first, Brandon. So uh, that's a 23 on my perception. On your perception? Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you fly down there, and there are still some active targets in, uh, in what uh, is in Kid Justice's light source. Okay. Um, I'm going to be doing animated assault. So I'm going to um, – are, there, are there trees here, or is it just basically rocks under the snow? There, there are trees. Um, okay. they, they are not – like, you are not in a forest, but right. you are in an area that there are trees. So um, – uh, riding this creature uh, through the air, uh, my I point my hat over, and my hat just uh, at a tree. My hat flies out and basically slices uh, that tree, uh, slices that tree, and the tree just flings over at this thing. Okay. I just, my and then my hat returns to me. It turns into this discus as it slices, and then it comes back to me and pops back into a top hat. Um, I hit a 21. Okay. I have not rolled over a 10 on my damage resistance checks against you guys throughout the entire round, on this. other than Alex. Okay. Uh, the, the, the tree drops down and smashes into the, the thing. It, it just dro gets, in, you know, pummeled to the ground. Um, and it is, uh, not, you know, not getting up at this point. Okay. Um, at that point, we have a, a couple of these creatures that uh, are attracted to you guys. So, Kid Justice, what does a 19 say to your, your parry defense? This will be against parries, everybody. Yeah, okay. Okay, go ahead and make a damage resistance check. Uh, 25. 25, okay. I'll get go ahead and cover that and make my note. Um, Asus isn't here right now. Lady Liberty, go ahead and pop the pop at you. That one's definitely going to be a miss. Um, mm -hmm. Scarab Queen, Ace, uh, a parry of 23. That will hit my 7. Okay, and Mistress Mysteria, uh, 23 as well. What? Uh, Both of you go ahead. What's it launching? Oh, you're you're flying in the air. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead and make your acrobatics. Okay. As the the winds are are brutally hard up there. Um. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm riding a steed rather than my usual flying carpet or pillow. Uh, my acrobat. Uh, what the? Okay, my acrobatics are nine. Acrobat. Ticks didn't make it onto the sheet. That's, the, that's hilarious. <laughs> Alex will tell you the line was acrobat. What so the that is not the Stop version it. that you played that day. No, no, it is not. I just grabbed a, a version <laughs> that was there, like I said. Because the god of time and space could not dodge when the acrobat could. Yeah, um, nine. I This version does not have it. Oh, nine is your total, not your nine, modifier. I have a two modifier. All right, you are yeah, you right. are uh, pushed far too close to the ground, okay. and so no it problem. is able to get at you. Sure. Uh, also, if you were flying very high, your uh, line of sight would be so minimal. Okay, no problem. Um, so, so, what's my DC? Go ahead, on and give me uh, damage re damage resistance on Scarab and Mistress Mysteria. Uh, Lady Liberty was missed, and Kid Justice has already resolved. I'm going to do another at Lady Liberty since Aces is not here. Is this this a 26. Damage resistance, so toughness. Okay, toughness. Uh, I rolled a nat 20 on my okay, die. Okay, you're fine. Nat 20, 60, ones fail. What about you, Scarab Queen? 26. Okay, all, all of you have uh, have very good uh, resistance checks there. These, these creatures uh, fall upon you. Um, you know, trying to grab onto you, and the, the fur begins to retract to reveal this uh, mosquito-like proboscis um, that they they uh, try and slam you with. Uh, mm. uh, each one of you uh, either dodges uh, or is uh, is just tough enough uh, to not get nailed by it. Okay. 
Um, so Apparently we're going to sparring in the danger room with his scarabs. That's why I was able to get out of the way. If you're saying it's an insect, like I'm dodging insects in the, <laughs> in the danger room. Well, they're they're hairy monsters with this uh, mosquito-like proboscis. I don't consider this anything like my beauties. Yeah. Uh, Kid Justice. So one's uh, right on me. Is that right? Yes. Everybody except Aces has at least one target right by them. I think I have two, right? Yes, you do. Because Aces wasn't here to roll for himself. That's fine. All right, I'll just go ahead and uh, grab this thing, try to get around and grab it from the back so it can't uh, stick me again. <laughs> I got a 27 to grab him. Okay, and what is my resistance DC? It is a will DC 20. Okay. Kid Justice, I just don't like you because my dice are actually rolling worth something against you and not against most people. Um, you you try and grab uh, onto it, and as you do, you just rip hair out of the creature. Um, it's, uh, you know, a, a fairly loose coat uh, that, ha that uh, rather than fully shedding, kind of is willing to give up fur when it is held onto. Uh, Aces, so the scene is you were lucky for being away and I decided not to attack you unlike everybody else. Um, each one of your, your compatriots is currently engaged with at least one. Lady Liberty has two of these uh, strange creatures. The, they, as they ran into attack, they tried to grab on with their claws and then their, their face, the fur pulled back around their face to reveal this uh, kind of maw and a, and a proboscis that they tried to inject uh, your companions with. What do you want to do, Aces? Aces? Okay, um, I'm gonna try a trick shot. Um, at, uh, I believe that's uh, increased range, penetrating six, precise ricochet, two balances, split two targets, right? That yes, so hard. what split does is you can uh, do less damage to, like, you. Uh, the, what's the total uh, rank on it? The the damage what? Damage right, 10? Damage a, 8? Damage 6. Damage 6? Okay, so you could do, like, damage 3 and damage 3, damage 4 and damage 2 with 2 shots. Mm. Nah, you know what? That sounds weak. This thing's going to take a lot of damage, apparently. Um, uh, I'm going to do lay on, lay, laying on a hammer okay. on just one guy, do multi-attack, just take some, take one of these okay. things uh, down. One multi okay. And DC is, is a DC, well, how does multi-attack work? Uh, the more that you hit by, the more damage you will do. Oh, so like auto fire champions. It, it is the mutants and masterminds version of auto fire. Yes. All right. So I roll. Yep. What do I add? Um, your normal uh, attack for the the gun, which I believe is like a plus twelve for you or something. Okay. Um, land on the hammer. Uh, this is does not have what I thought I put on it. Let me look real quick. Um, da, 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 quick draw, redirect, set up, teamwork. Add 12. <laughs> 22. Okay. So, yes, two degrees of success, so you will get a bonus on your damage. And... Uh, All right, <laughs> your, your, uh, several bullets thunk into the creature, and it, it continues to, uh, to move on. You can see blood 
um, began to, to pour out of some wounds onto it and into its fur, matting it um, uh, dark red against the snow-covered fur, but it continues to move forward. Lady okay. Liberty. So there's two creatures before me still? Two creatures are uh, engaged with you, one with everybody else except for aces. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab both of them and knock them together if I can. And while doing that, it's I'm just Go going to pick right them up, ahead. look at that them, is... saying, "No, no." I go while I'm doing this. I'm saying, "Parting is such sweet sorrow that oh. I shall say good night till it be." Oh, never mind. And then knock them together. I mean, I don't want to see them on the morrow. All right, so you are going to basically stunt your your attack. Um, go ahead. Roll 20. Okay. So DC 27. A fail, and on the exact same number, a fail. So yes, you you are you are able to grab the two of them and smack them together. Both of them go limp in your grasp as they they smash together. Do you have anything else that you would like to accomplish at this time? Moving oh. basically or something similar to that. I'm just going to drop them on the top of the other one and towards um Let's go to Kid Justice. Okay. And help him. He seems to be having trouble because my dice actually roll very high against him. Um, Miss uh, Scarab. Okay. As it's as this thing has tried to attack or hit me with this proboscis, I'm going to grab it as it's pulling it back, and ha and with that, I'm going to hold it there as a wave of. As a wave of my little children come over me onto it. Okay. 26. Okay. It is DC 25. DC 25. Round two, my rolls picked up. I got Natch 20. So, the, the, the creatures... Um, begin to you know rise up and uh, as as they get past the the proboscis they begin to hit the maw area and they just start to melt as its saliva touches upon them. Hey. And as it, as they do that, I'm gonna merge back with them and go a hundred feet behind or go fifty feet behind me. Okay, Mistress Mysteria. Um. The one that I'm on? Yep. The one that I am on, I am going to... Sorry, hold on. Okay. So I have one... an aggressive Bluetooth speaker that is giving Alice some difficulty. So, I shut your computer uh, down and it reconnected last... and disconnected three times. I've had to repeatedly. Okay. So... <laughs> Um, for the one that I'm on, uh, you said that we are, um, you know, on Thanksgiving Eve. So I go, um, well, I guess I guess we won't be making it to Black Friday. I'm certain that a kid or two need a toy. So this won't be a Bebo. This, this is no Mebo, but it'll be something. I'm going to uh, transform the, the big white furry beast that is on me. Uh, with polymorphic panacea, and I am going to start shrinking it down into a white little fluffy, um, you know, the. I uh, awesome. White little I stuffed love animal. This. <laughs> Save somebody Black Friday shopping. So now I almost wish I'd played Ragdoll because then I could just make a toy. <laughs> uh, I rolled an 18 on my die, so that's a 28 to land it. Okay. Um, and what is your total DC? Uh, my total DC is 21. 21. I have you bought will... extra... Uh, remember, I bought extra levels for this one, so... 
Um, yeah, it, it has uh, failed on second degree against this. Okay, second degree, it's stunned. This is going to be cumulative, so I can pop another round of it on it, which I will actually spend my hero point to extra action right now to do again to bring okay. it to the third just degree. just to clarify system, I don't think that's a hero point at the moment. You are trying to oh, extraordinary you're right. effort. I'm trying to extraordinary effort. I just tend to on my sheet expend it early so I don't exhaust but yeah I'll just do it uh so that is a 19 to hit it the second time uh and that would have been all three of the levels that you Great. would have gotten if and I rolled that first shoot. it's a nice little white fuzzy Bebo like animal stuffed animal yep a white little fluffy thing Ragnarok loves you so I have a new toy for Kid Justice or one of the kids on the plane. But is the toy still animated and trying to kill it? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Aww. Not for polymorphic panacea. If, if if she'd only gotten that rank two, yes, yes. effectively yeah. would have been. Yep. It would have been a little Chucky doll coming after you. But I got the third degree in. <laughs> See, if I, you'd done uh, a... Or Ragdoll was around... <laughs> Uh, Alice, do you have anything else with your movement action? Um, no, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna move to position myself if there are any others left, to so that I can have sight on him next round. So, Kid Justice has got one, and then there's one free one at the moment. Okay. Lady Liberty flew over to Kid Justice. Oh, if, okay. Um, if Lady Liberty flew over to Kid Justice, I will uh, fly by Kid Justice and say, "Hey, Kid Justice, Merry Christmas." toss him my, uh, his new toy that I got him for Black Friday, and <laughs> go to the free one. Okay. Not when I'm swallowing, please. <laughs> <laughs> and that will bring us to that. So, Alice, you arrived just in time for it to swat at your demon horse of snow. Um, it has a 17. Is that going to hit your parry? No, I have a, okay. it, on a, my parry, it's a 19. Nine plus. And Kid Justice, an 18, does that hit your parry, I think? Right on it. Okay, go ahead and give me that resistance check again. Uh-oh, it's only a 15. Only a 15, okay, so. Kid Justice got distracted by me throwing him a stuffed animal. <laughs> New toy? <laughs> New toy. Ah. Uh, so yes, Kid Justice, I am going to bruise and daze you as uh, as uh, Mistress Mysteria flies by on her steed of snow, tossing you uh, a fresh toy. You turn to catch it, and all of a sudden the, the creature rips into you from behind with its claws. Uh, you you can feel it. Your Your costume is a little shredded, and your coat is very shredded. Oh, man, I'm going to have to explain this to Mom. Uh, Aces, you are up. There are only two of these uh, shaggy creatures left. Well, when I tore up the kid, I'm going to attack him. Uh, I'll be laying on a hammer seem to work okay. All right. Okay, I wrote a one, but I have luck. Okay. So we need to reroll dot. Correct. Yep. You've got four uses of luck and two hero points left. All right, that's going to be uh, <coughs> twenty-five. Okay. So also, when you when you reroll, let's say you rolled a one again, you would add ten to it because it's below ten. So basically, you're rolling a d10 plus ten. At that point. 25 definitely sounds like you rolled high in the first place, though. 13. So. All right. Uh, you, um, uh, you know, as this, this creature uh, sinks its claws into Kid Justice, uh, Ace is, uh, you know, lays down on the hammer and drops bullets into that, knocking it back, you know, very action movie style. Boom, boom, boom. And then the, the thing drops under the, the heavy assault after... Uh, I run after up there, I leap up I, fly, I leap up, I fire both guns, suddenly doves fill the air. 
<laughs> ice description. And Kid Justice, you you have one left that uh, is uh, trying to attack Mistress Mysterious Steed of Snow. He big dummy. He need to be like this guy so you can pick on someone your own. Show him the uh, little stuffed animal I'm holding. All right. And no attack roll needed? Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I think I am going to all out and power on this one. <laughs> uh, you, if there's awesome. no attack roll, then you cannot use those because uh, there's modified attack, attack rolls. I saw There's a attack roll. Okay. Yeah. And yes, uh, well, the official fact, the fact, not a, not the originally printed rules, does say you cannot use multiple of those. I still allow it. So, okay. All out attacking and power attacking, right? Yeah. And natural one. So, uh, when uh, are you scolding him into oblivion? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have uh, as, as as you you scold the the creature uh, with justice uh, on the mind, uh, it it curls up into uh, into a ball, and uh, you know just sits there curled up, trying to resist this horrible mental assault that is being laid upon it. <laughs> All right, uh, that is all the the ones. You guys did stop them before they, they got to the, the plane. Uh, two people have done uh, extraordinary efforts for uh, stunting. Yeah. So you guys will be hindered, which is, uh, unless you are already hindered, or you, you will be, f actually, you fatigued. will be fatigued. We're going to be fatigued um, unless we get an hour of rest, an hour of break or scene break to uh, recover that. And at this point, I don't know if we're going to get that. So I'm going to hold off on using my hero point to recover if, in case we get that hour. If we don't get that hour, I can always blow my hero point then to come back. Do, just a question. Do I still have fatigue from like the beginning of this when I spoke to the dead? Yes. Okay. Unless you use the the hero point, you will you will keep that. Or an yeah. hour of rest, or you know, Brandon yep. gives us a, a scene break that qualifies as having gotten enough time to rest. So I don't figure you guys are going to take a whole lot of time here no. at the moment. Yeah. Yep. I'll just spend. My we hero need to point follow. Now. We need to follow the tracks back to the source. So, uh, Tim, are you saying that you need to uh, get out of here? Yeah, I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open. It's like 11. All right. Well, we could just say that Aces is. Uh, you guys can leave Aces here uh, to okay. ensure that more of these uh, demon creatures don't uh, come after the the uh, you know survivors of the plane crash. Sure. All right. So, closing up with the the fight, you guys talk, draw straws, whatever, and decide that Aces is going to be the one that stays behind to protect people. While the other four of you head off uh, into the the night after these uh, creatures that have been been coming, so what are you guys doing at this point? Well, we're tracking where the creatures been coming from. It's the issue is, the person who knew the trail just left. Your scarabs know the trail. They know where the bodies are, but I can. Give them that. I bet we can find it. I mean, I just gotta, I know what the prints look like. Um, Brandon, I do want to try and before we leave the corpses, just use my magical awareness. Do these creatures emanate magic? Um, they... They do not emanate magic themselves, but magic has been used. Okay. Your, um, basically your detect magic is, does not specifically register on them, but magical awareness, uh, does, you know, you, you notice things with them do from I... that. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception. Sure. Do I believe and I can utilize question. this, uh, the sense, oh, 23 perception. Uh, do I believe 
that um, I can use this uh, this general sense to kind of follow the trail of the magic to help track. As you uh, you know reach out looking to examine these creatures and such and touch into that, there is a, a greater and greater uh, rip in the 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 magics um, of the world going on. Okay. And so you you can find 23, right? You find two two places um, uh, as as you are are sensing. One of them is where the the magic is growing stronger. There is a another site um, in the same direction um, that uh, that you also feel uh, kind magic. of magic leaching into. Okay. Um, so I, I come out of it and uh, I, I don't even realize I did this, but uh, uh, basically the filigree off my... Uh, the filigree on my gloves came off while I was, uh, I, I was in this trance and they're creating two like blink, blink, blink arrows in the two, in the two, <laughs> towards the two spots that I, uh, sense. And so it's like that, those big lights that, you know, blink, 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 two arrows. And I, are I come either out of, of it. those, are either of those in the directions where I was finding the bodies being left? Everything is pointing in that same direction. The the way that the plane was coming from. Uh, cool. That means by the time she comes to, I'm already walking in that direction. Awesome. There are two sites of magic that are strongly disturbed. One is growing in power, and the other one, I can't tell if it's growing or waning. Because, Alex, the one grown justice waits demon. for no woo man. <laughs> I... Uh, I agree with you, Scarab. And that would be this blinking light. And the blinking light starts moving, and I start following it. I follow. You so know, where are like you those, going? Those, uh, following towards the one that it's getting uh, noticeably stronger. And, uh, you know, it, it's like those circuit. you know, when you're in the circus and there's tents and the lights telling you go here <laughs> those big blinking lights of arrow that's what it is maybe can we be a little bit less visible i don't want to be hunted here and absolutely out in the open um one of the one of the arrows disappears at that point and i kind of uh roll my eyes at the don't draw attention bit after earlier <laughs> and uh, I snuff it out, uh, draw it back in. Uh, at that point, um, it, when it comes back into me, my uh, I, a whip appears in my hand in its place and that shrinks down to a dousing rod and I'm going to just follow it th through that. Sure. You guys uh, follow, come up out mm -hmm. of the valley, and you look back into it. You realize how that in the time that you were down in that valley, the snow got much thicker. Uh, you know, looking at the, the plain and such like that, you can see that the snow on it is much thicker than when you guys first arrived. Okay, we've got limited time. We need to move quickly. Yep moving um i do i, I guess have... i'm moving slowly for myself i'm sorry joanne you staticed up to me what was that i said i'm guessing i have to move slower than my normal speed to this so the others can keep up i can lift us with the with my uh, children i was moving faster on those Um, do I believe I can pinpoint where the location is of that site? Not with uh, what you've done so far. It is possible that you could. 
Do you think you could pinpoint it from the air? I shake my head. Um, but I think I have an idea. Uh, so, Moment. I um, Scarab recommend, has said she had a way that, to make it that you guys can move faster. Yes, I, so that might... I believe that I may be able to move us faster than that if Scarab is willing to work with me. And how exactly? Well, I know that those of us here do not um, are not comfortable with the with walking through the way of the dead, the world of the dead, and I don't believe I can pinpoint it by walking through. But if I can, if we can combine our power uh, into a single teleportation, I am able to. I believe I can utilize that. And we can all walk through my circus tent and pin, uh, if I can pinpoint it. But I would need to channel both of our power into a single source. If you're willing. And if it's wrong, you're tampering with the dead here. No, tampering. I would be tampering only with the, uh, with the ley lines and the magic that you harness. I wish not to travel through the land of the dead. We would be traveling through my magic, my tunnels. I only wish to borrow your power. So Brandon, my intention sure. is to utilize his dis Scarab's distance and, you'd, um, and channel it onto my portals to passageways um, and basically essentially stunt it, uh, create a quick ritual for it and try and basically, okay, no problem, Brandon. Um, and I do have ritualist, I would like to point out at this point, and I'm going to basically stunt to try and create a quick ritual to try and pinpoint, uh, utilize the magic to pinpoint the, where it's, where it's getting stronger and emanating from. And I'm going to basically shunt us there using her ability for distance and my ability to, you know, open basically the tent. <clears throat> All right. Um, so that that is uh, ritualist is going to take, take more time uh, a, usually. Yeah. A I do as well. Have, I as well have ritual if I could help with this. Yeah, but um, it is. Uh, um, I, can... I could look up the rules, but basically the amount of power points you're going to use, it's going to take that many hours to come up with the ritual. Right. Two I'm... hours. We don't have well, hours. I was I was stating that using I wasn't planning on using ritualist as an actually casting a ritual. I'm saying ritualist as I and I have an understanding of how to utilize my knowledge to combine the powers. And, and I'm using hero I... point to, to stunt. That well, you're using extra effort, right? No, I'm actually literally using hero point to stunt at this point because I'm not just stunting. Um, I am at this point uh, basically essentially editing a cutscene for us. Creating a comic panel where she and I channel our powers together and I'm scraw and basically my, my clothes start drawing runes on the floor to create a, a, create where we're going to you know pinpoint it. Uh, pinpoint our location. Yeah, that and that's a power stunt. Sure, I can power stunt it. That makes it even easier. Means I might not have to spend a hero point back. Well, you're going to go to exhausted. No, I already paid my hero point earlier to come back. I'm down to one oh, hero okay. point already. Since we were like, we're not going to rest enough. Uh, I rolled a 16 on my die. And what are you rolling? Point. Um, I am rolling my, uh, well, depends on what you want first, my magical sense um, or for a, you know, perception or whatever, or if you want me just to go straight for us casting the portal. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys are, are stunting to try and track it down. That is a, a power that uh, on a stunt you could easily, easily make. Okay. Um, and, and so I wasn't asking for any sort of role here. Okay, and then sure. you're trying to teleport Never to that either. location, yes. which is part of you guys gathering that. Cool. Then I don't so. need to make a roll. Awesome. No. Awesome. So, um, yes, uh, you you guys are able to look at art. Um, you guys are able to. <laughs> Funny. 
uh, to uh, figure out where where this is and teleport over there. Uh, Mistress Mysteria, where are you wanting to teleport in relation? Because you know where that ritual, or where that, not ritual, where that magic um, is obviously uh, a confluence of. Um, well, when Scarab and I basically are channeling together and like, and then we both kind of, you know, open our eyes in the comic panel and go, you know, kind of have that eureka moment, we found it, I'm going to confer with her. How close do we want to get? If we get just a little bit away, going to find us, might as well go as close as we can without it being dangerous. So d- Without so being right on it. Okay. Uh, so it sounds like basically we want to be within a move to that spot. Okay. Find, trying to, you know, take a spot of shelter if possible, if not, you know, but get basically about a move out. Sound good? You guys um, put together your ritual. You uh, figure out where uh, this is going to be happening. You have your discussion. Say, yeah, you know, uh, why don't we just teleport right into it and uh, let's let's get this over with quick. And um, you you bring up your your tent. You step through using some of the the power from the Scarab Queen to allow for a, a bigger tunnel and for more people into the tent. And uh, you guys move through. Uh, quickly, uh, and uh, suddenly come out into uh, a, the a precipice over um, a cliff, basically looking down into a uh, a bowl in the the mountains and such. Um, the 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 storm is continuing and uh, to just rain snow upon snow in the area, but here. You feel the heat rising as the the caldera bowl is uh, lava is beginning to fill into that caldera do coming I, from somewhere. Do the I recognize this caldera from my earlier vision? Uh, no, this is uh, this is different uh, than where you were before. Um, perhaps it's all the snow covering. You're not certain, but it doesn't look like to be the same. Though it seems to have very similar properties to to that is that you you have um you know a from what you can see very similar properties of looking down at the caldera from multiple points um they're uh flying in the in the air seeming to to raise up the 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 power of that uh that lava coming up and all is this uh this you know hairy chested man with uh, the legs of a goat uh naked as the day he was conceived um and uh flying up around the area yes good good idea see no evil um around the area that you have uh these these different creatures that you guys can make out one of them uh you guys are near right now and the the others are spread out around above the caldera um that there's a a a rabid boar man a uh a shadowed cow bloodied stag a twisted snake a matted bear man and uh, a mottled raptor and a disheveled fox um and they seem to be uh basically uh chanting uh pseudo backwards uh what you heard earlier mistress mysteria they're trying to reverse it. Okay. Um, yeah, exactly the same thought. Well, they're just trying to ruin our show. Well, let's... I think they're just asking for an encore. Shall we give them the encore? <laughs> I have uh, a you... question on the DM. Yo! Does this, look, does this look like a devil's gate? Uh, you know, very, very similar on that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. And, uh, 
So I don't know if it's on your sheet or not um, uh, that was passed to you, but a traditional weakness for Lady Liberty is she is weak to the supernatural because that those are the weapon that is the weaponry that you kill a god with or that can combat a god. Mm-hmm. And so you you in this fight are are going to be dealing with a lot of the the supernatural here. So we go in, we hit hard and get out. Sounds like a plan to me. Or we, we remove. So we need to interrupt the ritual. That means we take it. So we need to interrupt. Do does do any of the do any of them look like one is leading this chant? Uh, it looks like the the creature in the middle that is uh, fl- flying above with the the goat legs and the the demon wings is the the one that is lead. Okay. Which is the one that Alice, you sculpted out of ice, and Lady Liberty identified it as a Dezavit, a demon of Vulcanism and cannibalism. Who happens to have a fascination for drawing creatures from... And in, in front of these seven figures that you guys can occasionally make out in in the snow one of them being far closer to you than the the others there is um strapped down uh not dead like when when you saw it alice um when you when you saw that uh, that bloody stag Dag, in front but now of there's a person one there? of them now there are people there that uh that are are not dead yet is one of them named becky it's one of them a uh-huh. man <laughs> Uh, there, there are men and there are women. That I, I girl's dad to... must be down there. Well, I want to move to the closest one and actually take them out. So the, that that answers my question. Are we focus firing? It sounds like we're splitting. Cool. I just want uh, the thing is oh, I know that good. I'm not going to have long before going to be affected yep. by this. I need to hit hard. I need to hit far. I'm, I'm pretty much useless. I'm going to hit one of the airborne ones because I'm going airborne myself. I'm going to target one of the airborne ones that is not the center mass because I'm going to assume we're going to... Uh, They're all the on the ground mass. other than the, uh, oh, okay. the one in the middle. I, I thought I heard someone with wings flying, so... Uh, there is a raptor. Okay. Well, I'm going to go at the raptor because that way if he takes flight, I can match. For some reason, I pictured a dinosaur. <laughs> okay. I more meant a bird of prey. So, uh, I'm we rolling in creating. Oh. Well, I'm going to try to create a wall of scarabs to block their sight from that thing. To completely block. Uh, you could maybe block one of their sites because uh, they they it are spread a thousand all around. Thousand square foot. Thousand square feet goes real quick. In a very large caldera of red lava. Okay. I think though uh, he's probably trying to basically create it tight on the middle guy. So I think he's more essentially trying to do prison. Uh, prison. Based on the way uh, he yeah, described it. His... His stuff, the scarabs are going to need to get to him, so they're going to need the... Uh, yeah, that, the I wasn't saying that. I was saying a direct yeah. wall oh, okay. in front of them, because I can't get a, them into the air. Okay. Um, but, I mean, that's really all I can do except for directly attack him, and I don't... Yeah. Okay. Well, you can always stunt. So, I, you know, if you think I have a plan for what I want to cool. try. Awesome. Let's go then. I think we should roll a nits. Brandon, you you ready for our nits? Uh, go ahead and roll them. I'm uh, tossing my dice at the moment. Nine. Twelve. Yeah, so I got twelve. I'm a plus two. Sorry, Alex was speaking. I'm at 12 for the plus two in it. Okay. 
Okay, so 12. I have got Kid Justice. Who else had a 12? I did, and I have a plus 6. Okay. I heard a 9. I'd be scared. Maybe I didn't. Okay. 17. 17 for Alexa. Okay. Uh, you guys are the ones that are, are starting this party. And so you, uh, you all get the, the, uh, the instigation here. So we are starting with uh, Lady Liberty is our, our first initiative. Yeah, I, as I said, I'm going to move to the closest one. Uh, pick and which one that, that's going to be. I, I don't have a vested interest in which one. Hmm. Let's take, you said there was one that looked like a... There is a disheveled fox, a rabid boar, a mottled raptor, a shadowed cat, a matted bear, a bloody stag, and a twisted snake. I'm going to go for the fox. Okay. And. So. You were, your time has been, your time has gone. It's time for you to return to being just a myth, whacking it. That is going to be a 25. So, two things. Um, just if you haven't looked at them on advantages on your character sheet. All out attack lets you trade uh, defense for attack, and power attack lets you trade uh, two hit for damage if you care for any of those. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, people had takedown and they weren't using it. Um, Lexa, you are not you are not uh, fatigued. You never were. If you used a hero point, go ahead and get it back, um, because you could have just done that as a takedown instead of a, a power stun. I haven't used any points. No, but I, I fatigued you because okay. you uh, you attacked two guys. Ah, uh, okay. So, but that could have just been uh, the the takedown. Um, okay. Um. And what was the AC that you hit? 25. 25. That's a hit. Yeah. I need to do against a DC 27. Okay. 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 So. Move that. Um... Okay. Uh, you 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 de deliver a massive blow. Why don't you go ahead and describe how this goes? Yes, but Alice, uh, hold on, just uh, extraordinary effort. You go to exhausted, not fatigued if you use it. That's true. I forgot about that part. I, as I said, I walk up to this creature and say, you are from another time. It is Time, your time is now, oh, it is gone. It is time for you to return to myth, and I'm just going to go bam! Okay. Literally punching it on the end of the snout so its snout breaks and sort of just gruesome things happen. You you hear the, the bones shatter as you, you punch the thing in the face. Uh, the, the snout begins to impact and bones rip through its skin as you... You do a, a little bit of landscaping. The creature is knocked back, flying um, down into the caldera, not all the way to the lava, but part of the way down um, before it's able to to catch itself. Nice. Um, Mistress Mysteria. Okay. Uh, so you're saying that these are birds of prey raptors, not, um, not uh, a dinosaur raptor, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, how big is this one? Uh, all of these are, you know, man-sized to horse-sized. Okay. Um, I am going to actually... They, they have elements of the beast as well as elements of a, of a man or a humanoid creature. I'm actually going to try and basically disrupt this uh, 
uh, disrupt this ritual as quickly as I can. So rather than trying to disable him uh, by killing him or knocking him out, I'm going to taunt him. I'm going to uh, utilize my, oh, well, I can't taunt and do the other thing. I'll start with the... I'll start with a daze on him. Let's let's make him stop chanting. Okay. And what are you doing to accomplish said thing? Um so uh I'm going to basically go back to the lessons of my uh, uh of from the circus and my time watching the falconers so if you go to my little you know flashback panel in the comic book right now i'm basically playing a falconer at the moment and so uh glove my the the glove on my arm the half you know the lacy glove changes into a falconer's glove and i put my arm out and uh i like chuck little bits of something uh, out of my finger, even though like nothing is in my hand. Uh, as it flies through the air, it starts looking like bird feed at him. And I am going to use my days on him. That is a 32. That sounds 16, pretty Sorry, impressive. 18 plus 14 is 32. Flipping just to see. So, target's resistance check in same skill, insight, or will defense, whichever has the highest bonus. Okay. Um, and you were picking on the raptor, is that correct? Yes. And basically, you know, I'm bringing him down to his baser instincts of uh, falcon training kind of thing. Because they are just naturally, instinctually waiting to be trained. That's really offensive. Well, triggering <laughs> triggering the instincts, you know, and acting like a falconer at the moment. Okay. Um, and my goal is just to get him to stop chanting right now, first thing. Um, so, are oh. you thinking of Daze as uh, the D&D &D spell effects? Because Daze is standard actions. Oh, I forgot about that. It's been a while. I apologize. And I forgot that I can do that. Um, yeah. I also don't need to be spending it as my action to do that because I've got other stuff for it. Um, you know what? Forget it. I am going to actually just call up. A, instead of that, I'm just going to beat on this thing right now. Uh, I am going to transform it, uh, Polymorphic Panacea, Affliction 11. I'm going to uh, return this creature to its native nature, basically taking away the human form of it and turning it back into a bird. Okay. So, if I get to keep my old die roll, I rolled an 18 on the die, but I can roll it again. I rolled a 19 on the die! <laughs> And what is my what is my DC? Your DC is a four twenty one. A fortitude of twenty one on the raptor. Uh, the uh, and and you've got the range on this. Yes. So uh, the raptor is the next in line uh, from the fox, since that was the next one picked on. Um, uh, Mistress Mysteria, uh, go ahead and describe your full effect. Okay. Um, so I lift into the air, and a rock um, from nearby comes up underneath me and turns itself into a, a little uh, fluffy pillow, and I sit down on it. I fly, uh, fly over you, basically, LL, and I shoot my hat out. And as I shoot my hat out, um, the hat changes into uh, uh, the hat goes over the bird and oh, enlarges and drops the bird into it, like a you know pulling the bird or pulling a rabbit out of a hat trick, and. As the uh, and then the bird and then the hat inverts so that the hat's opening is upside down, and the and where it went in a half man half bird comes out a full bird. 
a small for but a small giant sized a giant sized bird which quickly flies away and gets buffeted in the storm disappearing from sight kid justice and the hat returns to me his next That's hat trick I mean next closest you pick who's the next in line you guys get to pick your dancing partner to start with. He says there's like a boar, pig. There is, like. yeah, a rabid boar, a shadowed cat, a bloodied stag, a twisted snake, a matted bear, and there is the uh, even more disheveled fox um, that uh, Lady Liberty has uh, has punched down the hillside, but is still in the fight. Okay. Um... If I'm gonna startle, is that one target, or is can you like faint, or you know, do that to more than one person at a time? Interactions are against person. You um, you are able to with certain of them um, demoralizing, intimidating minions. Coercing, it might be deception. There is, um, I believe it's a neg five to do them uh, fast, basically, which allows you to use your movement action on it. Yes, deception talks about uh, you can deceive at a neg five penalty to do it as a movement action. And so you can effectively do it to multiple at a time. Um, I, it might be written into intimidation because I've always drawn it that intimidation, you can do it as well. Um, I don't know, and I don't want to read through all of it. So I stand by that. So like you can AOE kind of all of them or is it? Well, you could do two of them because I can do two. Yeah. Um, all right, why don't I startle fainting using intimidate and then uh, go into a scold. So, you guys better stop what you're doing right now. You know you're doing what's something wrong. It's bad and you know it and you need to stop. So, a startle for intimidate. It's a 18. Okay. And startle is naturally an intimidate effect, correct? Uh, startle is the advantage that makes fainting um, go off of intimidate. Oh, so deception that we're... I just want to see what I'm supposed to resist with. Um, target is insight. vulnerable. Intimidation. Uh, the better well. of your target's deception or insight. Okay. And you picked on a what? Uh, how about the snake? <laughs> the snake. There okay. we go. And uh, what did you get on your die roll? Uh, 18. Okay. He swivels his head over to you. It twists and contorts, inverting as he does it. Um, and uh, But he does not seem overly affected. All right, well, in the same words, uh, also scolding him, so let's see how that works. And that's a 21 to hit. It's a DC 25. Uh, 21 to hit. Um, and it is a does... resistance of will. A resistance of will. Uh, and what's the DC on will? 20? It says 25. It's written as yeah, damage with alternate resistance will. Ah, okay. So it is a uh, damage effect alternate resistance. Okay, so um, he ended up with a 20. So he is going to be dazed and bruised. Okay. All right. Um, seem to be uh, taken aback, startled by you, uh, your your scolding of it. Uh, certainly, you can feel that that energy take effect uh, that uh, the the spirit of justice has gifted you with. 
You and heard what I said. It's wrong, and you know it. Last one we've got in the line is Scarab. Okay. This being in the center, has it taken a physical form, or is it just have t in the process of? Um. It, it definitely you, it is not see-through, so you think that it, it does have a, a physical body. And um, just so we know, LL's engaged with a fox. Mistress Smith flown over close to where there was a, a raptor, but now a giant bird has just flown away. And then to the left of the fox, instead of to the right that the raptor is, there is the snake that uh, Kid Justice is the rating. So could I just would it be possible for me to use a hero point to ins to open the uh what is it, portal of the dead? But instead of going through it to force it Maybe a big demon in the center into the world of the dead, then close it. Um, you you can try and stunt that for an attack. Let me bring your sheet up here. Well, I mean, I have uh, one hero point. I was wondering if I could... Because the way that you explained it was hero points are just kind of like changing this, how world is and how uh, the things work a bit. Uh, no, you... you ex you tire yourself out by doing extra effort to do extra, uh, a power stunt. A power stunt is temporarily gain and use an alternate effect. See alternate effect in the power chapter. The alternate effect lasts until the end of the scene or until its duration expires. Whichever comes first, the permanent effects cannot be used for power stunts. So you just be doing a power stunt right now. You're not trying to edit a scene. Okay. So I could try to sh force that thing into by by straining the... yourself, like in all the like you know when you watch Raven and Teen Titans go uh, and just continue to strain and strain and strain mm -hmm. and make something happen. Yeah. Now I already have a fat fatigue, so would that now exhaust me? Yes. It yes, would exhaust that would you. exhaust you. Now the hero point will can allow you to recover from that from one stage of it. And I... Well, I'm going to try it. Okay. So this is effectively a, a teleport-flavored um, affliction. Um, and so... Well, I'm trying to as... force that thing into a completely different realm. Yes. Yes. So uh, affliction is going to be basically any time that you are saying, I want to do change something rather than just hurt something. So mm -hmm. Alice is turning the, the creature, uh, the raptor, into just a bird. That is a, an mm -hmm. affliction that uh, just succeeded very well. Uh, if you succeed mm -hmm. very well, they are removed from the fight. Yours would be getting him the heck out of here. Mm -hmm. So... You have, uh, we're just going to do this quick, and Mutants and Masterminds is great be on this part specifically because it is fairly fast with points um, that things are easy to put up. So into your Scarab Queen um, set, and you have that Prison of 10,000 Scarabs. That is a 30-point power, and this is what you're using is one of these. So you have effectively a 30-point ceiling that you get to spend. Affliction is going to cost one per rank. You're going to need to make that range, so that is another one per rank. Um, and uh, that is really all that you would need to buy that. And so you could, um, at, at rank 10, that's going to cost you 20 points. You'd still have 10 points left over. And so if you want to make an inaccurate attack with that, you could uh, buy a, buy a how higher point value in it. Um and so, but it's going to make you more inaccurate to do that. So it depends on how high you want to buy it. You are also at the moment in your favorite environment, which yes. is going to give you a plus two because this is a magic rich environment. Okay. Uh, so if I were to say spend all 30 on there. 
So you could get that up to a, a rank 15, but then with your D20, you're only going to be adding five. Um, oh. That would, uh, to hit them. That would give them, when they make their save, that would be a fortitude, probably, of, t- of 25 that he has to roll. Um, and if he you rolls low enough, my- it goes away. You know, the dice have been on my side tonight. So that's five plus the bonus of so of two, so make it plus seven total. Yeah, I'm just looking up favored environment real quick. So plus two circumstance bonus to a check, checks, or your active defenses. So all your defenses are plus two uh, right now. And yes, your attack check, your d20 die is at a plus two. So you'd get a plus seven. Oh, you get to pick one or the other each round. Okay. Well, I will choose an offense this round because um, I need it. I saw that before. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right, so. He is... All right, so that is going to be a miss. You can, however, spend a hero point um, because you have not done any to uh, get a re-roll. And like I said, it's a d10 plus 10, basically. Okay, well, then plus I'm going to do that. Plus whatever your normal mods are. Okay, that is much better. Um, 26. 26, that is definitely going to hit. Um, so, you you buffed this up, so he is going to have to make a 25. The odds are against making it all the way, but it's unlikely to get him completely removed. He May the is, odds be ever in your favor. He is going to actually take a second degree on this affliction, and, and while well, theoretically we should have gone through and described what each of these levels are if we're making an affliction. But on the the uh, tier two, um, you could make him defenseless, which makes him easier to hit, uh, disabled, which gives him a negative on uh, certain types of uh, d20 rolls, uh, exhausted, not as good, immobile, he can't move, prone, probably not appropriate since he's flying, or you could stun him until he can save against this. And at rank two, he would get to save each each round, but you have effectively disabled him for the time with uh, with most of these, or severely hindered him. I'll completely stun him, okay. because that means he can't keep the chant up. So it means that he's basically half in the portal right now, and trying yeah. to and is he way falling? Out. Is he then falling because his wings are no longer? Uh... No, stunned, he can't take a, basically a, a, a conscious action. The wings going is going to be a, a general. I will check stun just to make certain. Uh, stun that I am does legitimate. not take any actions, including free action. Including free actions. Okay, yeah, he's falling then. So, um, uh, go ahead and uh, describe uh, how, how that does look uh, I to us. I look towards the scarabs at first. I was trying to build the wall. Then I pull them back. And I look towards the center one. I just stick one hand out. And reality starts cracking and breaking around it. You see these spectral hands start pull, grabbing them and almost pulling them into the land of the undead. Or at least attempting to. As this thing starts falling. Those hands are sticking onto it, and... Oh. We have a Balrog falling, everyone. We have a Balrog falling. Hi. Right, now we are back to the uh, the top of our initiative. Um, and, and he does not shake that off. So he will remain stunned. Um... Let's go ahead and okay. So, uh, Lady Liberty, um, the fox below you looks up. His his face broken, bone shards uh, in his fur, and with with a snarl, he fixes his glare upon you. Go ahead and give me a will roll. Will. That's like plus eight. Twenty-seven. Somebody needs to get. I'm just gonna look at him and 
<sighs> Somebody needs to get her onto some sort of automated die roller. I tried it. She just complains. <laughs> she offered it, then complained. Oh, it didn't I didn't matter. The, like... dice, the dice roller was rolling just well as my dice. I don't like the automated dice roll. I mean, I have no problem with them, but, you know, if I want to play, I, I want to chuck these every once in a while, you know? Uh, there goes a good roll. Um, yeah, I had uh, another DM have me put a camera on it, and I like, just said, fine, just take it off. You know, it's you got frustrated because I was rolling. <laughs> it just got annoyed. Aye. Right. Um, yes, Lady Liberty, you uh, basically, uh, you, you feel something come in at the, the corners of your mind, but uh, you, nothing takes a hold. And it is your action. The, the fox is down in the caldera. The, uh, the head honcho, Dizavit, is uh, falling into the caldera. Um, you have mm -hmm. a raptor that has turned into a bird flying away. You have uh, the snake that is uh, currently being scolded by Kid Justice. And then around the rest of the caldera, you've got the rest of the, these strange creatures that are taking notice of you guys. The thing is, I don't think the caldera, the heat of the caldera is going to preach us so much. So I want to, the, I want to fly, catch him in mid-flight using his weight to swing him around, to grab momentum, swing him around and just literally throw him back up through the portal. Okay. He's probably not going to be damaged by the heat if he's standing right over the bloody thing. Well, he's and also a he's kind of a demon of volcanism, so. Yeah, <laughs> so that's not going to do anything. All right, go, go ahead and, and give me your attack roll to grab onto him as you, you fly down. I am going to do an all-out attack. Okay. Not quite sure how much a bonus that gives to me. Or... Uh, you can take uh, between a neg 1 and a neg 5 on your defenses. That is your parry and your dodge to get up to a plus 5, whatever the number is. You get that number I'll as a go positive with a on your attack three. roll. Okay. Take it. So that's eight plus three. So eleven. That's going. That is going to be thirty. How's eight plus three get to thirty? Okay. Oh, that's where the eight is. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, you you do indeed grab him. I will allow you similarly uh, the extraordinary effort for to to try and chuck him into. Uh, into this, this to uh, I didn't all add attack. Going, does that count? So. Uh, no, the extraordinary effort is basically uh, to to get him into the, the portal. Theoretically, the the okay. the portal is you know uh, a one shot thing, but you you are keeping it going with your powers and your descriptions. So, okay, <laughs> I will spend one of my two hero points to not go become fatigued. You didn't roll a 20, did you? No. I, I, I'm on the other end. You rolled a one. Oh, you rolled a one. <laughs> Wait, does that mean he's unconscious? Uh, no, that means that you have successfully did banished you, him into the land, land of the, of the dead. dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. So describe how, describe how you did Ryan. that. Ryan. No, I already Lex. described it. That's more on her thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just yeah, keep just... pulling, no, and I the know. shattering finishes it... No, no, no. Well, the one that she just threw into the portal. So describe how you're throwing it into oh. the portal and what the portal looks like as it throws, as it's going in. Sorry. I'm using his portal. Uh, yeah. yeah, so describe. Describe. As I said, I fly down. I, he's in mid, he's in mid fall. I fly down, grab him using his momentum and my mind to literally sort of do wind up and then just throwing him back up. I mean, he is flying at so really a basketball ridiculous. spike from the top down it sounds like basically no back up more volleyball okay, sure. coming up from underneath sure. and basketball spike up. upwards here yeah so big ball no, spikes 
and I'm just going to drive him straight back into that thing as the portal that had been open had been shattered with his hands reaching in, the hands grabbing and just going back in as the shattering finishes. Oh, uh, that sounds like a slam dunk to me. I mean, uh, but um, bum. I got the idea from Brian. It was a really good idea. Hi, and and yes. Uh, uh, well there, done, good play, Brian. There goes that one. Um, we're the at at that point uh, the the dissolve it demon having been banished into the land of the dead for the moment. Uh, the the other the the strange creatures and such. Uh, quickly break and run um, from from you guys. The disappearing into the the snow uh, through uh, guile, trickery, or or magics. And uh, so do I feel got, the, uh, Do I feel the profane magic here ebbing away at this point? Yes. The the lava uh, quickly begins to descend. The the snow takes over. Um, you know immediately. Uh, just, just pounding away at at the area. Okie dokie. Uh, at this point, it sounds like we head back to the plane, uh, the people, Free in the, the plane prisoners, and go. Yeah. So, three of the the f uh, seven uh, people have uh, been ritually sacrificed already. Ooh. Okay. Well, we get the other four, and get them back to the plane, and then get them and everyone out. Uh, I, I want wonder. to try and get the bodies of those that have been sacrificed but, for burial. Bring them back for burial. Yeah. Not just those who have been sacrificed, but those who have been lost. Find. Hmm. You know, they're good until spring. They're just going to be frozen. Yeah, okay. And now their <laughs> souls can try to get some more. The thing is, do we want to take their demon to those shamans that you... The shamans were in the past. Ah... I watched okay. their first binding ritual. That makes sense. What about actually? that second power? I think that was the power of the original binding that would have been probably waning. Yes, I'm guessing believe, that was. I believe it was. I believe that. What, well, let's go check the other site. Hypothesis aside, let's check the other site. Yes. You guys are able to use that same power stunt that you, you set up earlier okay. uh, and uh, basically teleport uh, over there. Uh, you find um, a portion of the, the plane that has, has landed here at the bottom of a caldera uh, and has broken apart an ancient cairn. Okay. I will rebuild it. You know, to the, the best of uh, my... To the best of my knowledge, actually doing it in the correct way. Uh, between uh, your your study of history and uh, two people with you study of mysticism, uh, you guys are are able to uh, to reconstruct to uh, some degree whether that is uh, that is enough. But uh, you you are uncertain what the the effect of uh, having banished Dzavit into uh, the land of the dead. Uh, will will have on on him and uh, his his power here, um, but uh, you you guys are able to to reconstruct the the cairn to the best of the your guys' ability, which is considerable. Awesome. And uh, as we're doing that, yeah. Can I ask my little friends on the other side how what that thing is doing? Well, you only get silence to. from the other side at this point. Dun, dun, dun. Is there anything else that you guys are wanting to do before uh, you guys close up? Is get the, everyone are safe. You all, get the are, you, are you free or with him able to get them back? Yes. Yeah. We can sit, we can put them then into I a plane park soon. Then I have a job to finish, and the reality behind me cracks. I step back into it. All right, and then there were three. Um, I'm gonna. We can just we can just put them in. To create some sort of container that I can to put them in safely, and I can just fly with everybody in that back to civilization. 
so you guys you guys do exactly that um bundling it up putting kid justice and putting mm -hmm. uh aces inside with them uh and, and also uh, and then she can sit in there too yeah she can i know she can teleport too pretty easily yep. so or or fly but uh, she doesn't she's not as good of a flyer as you i don't believe um uh i fly 60 miles an hour yeah so much slower 250 yeah much slower um, and yes, you guys are able to to make uh, something. It might not look pretty, but uh, it is uh, structurally sound as you can make it in uh, the the situation. Uh, and and you you take off. Um, uh, I I also remember that I can um, move object uh, six tons, so <laughs> I can. It takes a little bit longer, but I can move object six tons, dragging it with us yeah. if needed. And you guys go for, for a little ways, and the storm continues to intensify uh, around you, the, the winds uh, rocking it. And as the winds rock it, the storm intensifies, which makes the winds come harder and harder. I want to move diagonally, so I want to, I want to get up over the storm. Okay. So you can go ahead and give me, um, let's go ahead, I guess it doesn't matter whether it's strength or toughness, so just go ahead and give me uh, a roll there. 28. 28, okay. You, you make a, a lot of headway uh, in, in, you know, pushing up and such, realizing that your cabin is not pressurized, uh, and so... Having uh, everybody bundled up uh, against. And Mem, can you do something about that? Um, Maybe a bubble above them to protect. Sorry, what happened, Brandon? I just got a little. The the cabin is not pressurized. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do something you, about you that. That's put a bubble a around them. Yep. I can. Uh, I can. Um, uh... To justice, can you talk to him and keep everybody coming? Everyone, remain in your seats. Keep your seat belts fastened. <laughs> Put your airbag on before you assist a child. <laughs> the yeah. exits are everywhere. <laughs> we'll make them as we go. <laughs> <laughs> if you need to get out, break a window. All right, then. Um, and, uh, and you, you are strong enough that you, you punch above the clouds, um, with this, uh, using, uh, Mistress Mysteria to keep it, keep, uh, you know, the, there to be heat, uh, on board and such. And, uh, you, you break above the clouds and the, the air begin, gets calmer around you. It's, it's definitely biting cold up here. And then... You guys, those of you who can't see, start to see clouds form above the plane again. And then the wind starts again. Okay, using the moment of calm, I'm going to give hold on tightly and Vollgas, as they say in German. Pedal to the metal. And uh, Alex, uh, in, inside, go ahead and give me your persuasion check since uh, you're, you're trying to fascinate people into being calm. 22. Good on you. Um, you are able to get most of the people. The young girl continues to just cry uncontrollably. And go ahead and give me a perception check. <gasps> it's the girl. I did not see it. Rolled a one. Okay. It's, it's two and eleven. Yeah. You've got zero girl. points. All right, I'll spend one. And your powers are woken. The girl's been traumatized. There's it's a ten on a reroll. Does that make it? Sorry. 20? That's twenty. So thirty. So yes, you, you notice that whenever she she, uh, you know, get you know, begins to get worse or something. The storm gets worse, and as you guys have, you know, taken the plane up and such, she has gotten worse. And uh, you guys broke through the storm, but still, it did, you know, she, her 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 uh, 
own own issues have have continued and so all of a sudden a new storm forms above you so um figure out if her dad was a survivor or uh, her dad did pass he was one okay. of the three that was killed um team i think uh they're off the plane <laughs> Uh, what do we need to do? Get off the plane? Uh, just this, this one girl. She's, she's scared, and every time she starts crying, uh, the storm gets worse. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over, and I'm gonna try and calm her, Brandon. Just her. And I'm going to use my Fascinate Expertise Performance to calm her. Okay. Um, uh, actually, you know what? Um, I'm gonna start doing magic tricks. I'm gonna slap her instead. No, I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna start doing magic tricks for her, and I'm going to, you know, like do close-up magic and things that a little kid would appreciate. You know, like oh look, coin out from behind the ear, or you know. Uh, play with the cards or try and basically use scarves with lots of colors try and basically be doing things that little kids would enjoy i'm going to call ultimate effort deceptions and um i'm going to spend my last hero point and i get an auto 20 here kid here's a demon a stuffed animal i yeah. made it for you <laughs> that too if necessary yep. that's magic start start doing magic um and doing that kind of stuff Okay, with your with your ultimate effort, uh, what did you say you got to? Um, that is going to be a thirty-four. Thirty-four. Okay, you you do start to calm her a little bit, and uh, as, as you calm the the storm, additionally uh, above, you know where weather forms begins to dissipate. Okay. And I just you guys uh. Point. Well, you know, if you end the session with any hero points left, you're not doing do it right. You did do a job. Yep, exactly. I'm like, hey, I've, I've got a nat 20 I can blow. I'll blow my nat 20. I've got one hero point. I'm going to use it to do an edit. And we're no longer in flying. We're in fucking... <laughs> we're done. <laughs> she wants us to be done. You, I mean, you guys uh, do do uh, get it back down and uh, and bring it down at uh, at JFK Ace as well. He's uh, been there, has uh, jury rigged the radio with uh, a, a little bit of uh, don't worry, extra the good wire guys. and uh, a lot of luck, and uh, is calling out on don't everything worry, to clear the, the airways. He found a lemon to power the battery. Yep. That's right. And, and calling over the airways. Don't worry, we're the good guys. What'd you have for dinner? They were going to serve lemon chicken? Lucky, I guess. I guess. The Sentinel's coming in for landing. <laughs> Don't worry, we're the good guys. And so, yes, you guys uh, do bring most of the, the holiday travelers that were uh, returning to the States for their Thanksgiving holiday. There were definitely some uh, casualties, but none that you guys really could do anything about. Uh, as you... you dealt with a very bad situation and that got even worse. I mean, we kept most of them alive. That's right. You you know, nobody died after you guys got there. Yep. So, I, I hope that everybody had, had fun. Uh, as as usual, I, I had a blast running for you guys. Did you want to do a fee quick feedback thingy, Brandon? Or did you want to see uh, close? You know, I, I don't mind getting feedback from people on what they think of the system to, uh, you know, for anybody that's listened this far, uh, Allison, uh, Alice and I and Alex, I know, are, are old hats at it. Yep. So uh, if we want to start with the two of you guys. So go, Joanne. I found the system interesting. There's, It's not as clear as Supers was. Supers was mechanically a Super, lot easier. Uh, you played Super Game, not Super, so it's a very big difference because... We're uh, Super Game, like my apologies. Super, I like the fact that this character, that these 
I love the fact that this game still allows for a lot of role playing opportunities, and it allows a lot, quite a bit of freedom with building character concept. And yeah, I had fun. I'd love. I I'd have to play to give it a more concrete scene. I definitely need to play this times. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> um. With Isaac, I did enjoy it. Uh, there were a couple of bits that uh, here and there, like with the actual system. It's I did enjoy the session, the actual system itself. Some bits that some bits that I think are a bit unnecessary, uh, but generally, I do think I kind of agree in with what you were saying of needing to play it more to get a feeling for it. Specifically, at least with me, I I think I would need to go through making a character and all that. And start with the character that I made to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I am I am a bit sad that we didn't get uh, a scene back with uh, with the dead because she was about to make a deal with that demon and betray all of you. <laughs> well, that's a good story for another day. Yep. Uh, I knew we knew you were a jerk. Hey, now you can be a jerk. Alice, Alex, any any thoughts on uh, mutants and masterminds? Uh, I think that you tuned the fights in a way that it didn't wasn't a slog because, uh, as all three of us know, that uh, depending on the GM and scenario, fights in this game can be a massive slog where you're beating through and beating through because some people don't know how to APL in comparison to get a good mix of the right time to go down. And so you're like spending two hours on one guy back and forth thing with bruise, 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 bruise. I appreciated that. I didn't have to deal with that all day and it still was a good pace and still fun and super heroic. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Alex. Yeah. Overall, I think, I mean, I like the system enough that I could just throw together a character in the afternoon and, come out and use it right so it's quick and easy <laughs> so like that part about it um yeah fortunately dice didn't go my way a lot of times to show off some of the things but um for some reason i rolled happens. good against you i rolled awful against most of everybody else my dice had a good mix ups and downs so well Thank you all for watching. Well, thank you all for yeah, this game that I like a lot. Yep. Yeah, thank you all for playing, and thank yep. you all for watching. And yep. um, thanks, guys. Everyone, again later. Bye. 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 Bye.